Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and uh, we remind you always to subscribe and don't forget to download our videos as soon we finish because we don't keep them for long. Uh, yesterday we have uh, a guest and he was an atheist. Um, and as you know, we treat him really with nice uh, respect. Uh, but today I was really surprised that I saw in his channel um, something really I don't like. Uh, this is a snapshot from his channel. A person he posted, this is a Christian prince, is full of, he interrupts a circle uh, to mean a global. A globe is a globe. A circle is a circle, which means it would be flat, as Abdullah said, like a coin. And what make it uh, uh, disappointing that uh, Abdullah, he liked the comment and he loved it. So he don't mind to call me full of, as he said. Now, just to show you how hypocrite and how stupid the atheist look like when you speak to them, uh, with respect, they don't deserve it. When we say a circle, first of all, there's nothing. It's called circle. It's not even exist. Circle is a virtual drawing. It is not real. And you are reading a translation. If you are a, if if you are an idiot, that's your business. If you read the verse in the Bible, you will see that you are a certified donkey, the same as the Muslims. If we go in the Bible, we will find. That the Bible says it clearly. That there is an insect, as an insect, this is how we are, as an insect, in the top of the earth. And that insect is named, as you see in the screen, which means it can hold itself even if it is like a circle. Now, this is a translation, by the way. So if I show you different translations saying that this is like a globe, is that will satisfy you? In fact, it is in, in, the, in the original Hebrew and the original Aramaic, it says it's like, you know, in like a, a kora, like the same as a ball or the same as a globe. So if you want to judge and you say it says circle and circle is a flat, that's because you are stupid because circle is not a flat, it's not even exist. Circle is a new moderate, uh, moderate word where it is uh, described a certain dimension. It is not something, you know, you cannot say the coin is a circle. That's, that's mean you are stupid. Secondly, there's no perfect circle. So even this is a, a, a new statement, a new word created to, to use today by science to say circle. But we don't even have a perfect circle. So when I'm when an atheist he says, okay, you know how you explain to me the Bible saying etc. And then we refute them and we show them. Okay, we showed you the Bible says the circle or says the globe. Now if I go to the translation in the Bible, if we go, I will open the verse. So if we show you that it says or it's used the word the globe, is that what satisfy you? Here we go. Are we happy now? Here we go. This is the word the globe. So we are reading a translation, trying to present to you in your stupid English, or let us say language, to match with your understanding. But doesn't mean really that uh, you say, oh, a circle, it's mean a flat. I mean, look how they lie. First, they say the Bible says that the earth is a flat. And then when we get them busted, says the earth does not appear as a flat in the Bible because, as you see, it says as, and the inhabitants, like a grasshoppers before him. So we are in the top of the circle of the earth or the globe of the earth. And we are holding the earth and we are not fitting down. This is what the Bible says. It's in the front of your eyes. But when a person, he... Is obsessed with his madness and he don't want to read he don't want to see 
So now we you you wanted to see the word the globe. Here we go. In this translation, it says a globe. Are you satisfied? He will say no. I like circle. Hypocrisy, stupidity, mental illness. This is why I find that debating atheists is like debating a mad person who insists that he is an animal. And I have to agree, you're an animal. I mean, what I can say, I lose. You are the same as the grub, the, the grasshopper, as we see in the screen. And the Bible describes you this way, by the way. The Bible says those who deny God, they are the same as animals. You feel insulted, I don't care. You insulted yourself when you fight to prove that you're an animal. So if you look, if you look at the comments of uh, of the atheist, you will, you will find how stupid it is. Like the guy, one of them, he said, let me show you the other comment. I mean, just to show you the stupidity of those people. This is another comment. Amazing that after CP says the Bible is not a book of science. And then he went to mention science proving his book. You see, this is because you are a stupid donkey. And this is what I call you atheist because you are a liar. I am not the one who jumped to speak about the Bible to be the book of science. It is your representative. He questions science in the Bible. So very normal to answer his science question. I mean, how silly, how stupid, how, how they are not even decent people to speak about them. It is funny. I, I said the Bible is not a book of science. But your guy, he questions science in the Bible. From the first question he gave me, it was about science. All the topic is about science. You people worship science, but you are stupid. First of all, to speak about science, you have to be qualified to be scientifically qualified, which means you have to be a scientist. So you question science, but you do not know science. Me and you will read articles, and we have no choice but to say, okay, the article saying that. So now, if we go in the video of this funny atheist, Debate. I cannot call it debate actually. I did not even invite him to debate But I think they got what they deserve The first thing he said to me read carefully and listen carefully to what he said Science proved that and this is you know uh, uh, You know for me I saw the many articles speaking about it and you can search you don't have to take my word for granted you know? This is proven to be the same We don't want to play the music all right. Yeah, I I agree with you, and I actually have a question for you. Sure. Because um because I'm an atheist, and I actually found that like all of the holy books seem to have the same problem. Like for example, um like if you look at the Bible in Genesis one one two, okay. um it says that there was water in the beginning. How do you how do you understand actually, that? Even this is proven to be scientifically, and you don't need to believe in, in what I say. You can search it. When, okay. when the earth was created, even according to science, the whole earth was covered by water. And by time, the earth, the ground was appearing in the top. So when God, he created the, the whole earth, the whole earth was... So look how silly they are. He is the one who jumped to speak about science in the Bible. So what I should talk to him about Barbies. And I said, the Bible is not a book of science. But I was answering his question, and I prove him even, I mean, look how silly those people are. If you are a person who speak about science, why don't study science then? How in the world you ask me and you say, how the Bible says the earth was covered by water, but you do not know that science agree with that? Do science agree with the Bible? Yes, does agree. But they are ignorant. They don't want to read. They don't want to see. Here we go. This is your scientific new magazine, which I don't buy it even with a penny. I'm not going to believe because this magazine says the Bible is true. This is your stupid scientific magazine says early earth was covered in a global ocean and had no mountains. So they make fun of the Bible, but, the, but their stupid science confirmed the Bible. And then they, and it's, it's, it's very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. So now if we go back 20 years ago, and we say that no science proved that the earth was not covered by water. You will make fun of my Bible, right? But now because your science getting you busted, so now you have to say, okay, let us jump to a different topic. Forget about the Bible saying the earth was covered by water. So they are selective 
okay the earth is a flat we show them that the Bible says the earth is not a flat oh they say okay you know what you are showing us there in the translation it says a, a, a circle okay we show you different translation it says a globe is are you satisfied still no what about the Bible says the earth is hanged on nothing on nothing took you thousands of years to find out silliness stupidity is what atheists they practice and you know when science go against them they refuse science as an example there's tens of thousands of scientists who they are Christians who they refuse to believe that there is no God but they don't want to believe those scientists but they are scientists I mean if you follow scientists why you follow only atheist scientists but you don't follow Christian scientists and why the scientists all of them not atheist so speaking with atheist is no different from speaking from Muslims and I can summarize summarize to you the difference between them in a very simple way they are two coins or let's say uh, two faces of one coin one he want to prove to me that he's an animal and the other one he want to prove to me that Allah he made uh, let us say uh, he was an ape and he became he became a human and the other one he proved to me in his Quran that you we used to be human and Allah make us ape as Allah he said in the Quran that he cursed the Jews and the uh, 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 because they brought the Sabbath and he made them pigs and monkeys both have the same entity both they have the same stupidity and I have no respect for both of you I spoke to this guy uh, Abdullah Samir in a respectable way yet he, he he you know he gave love to a person who said the Christian prince is full of bullshit he loved the comment how nice of you your science is the most stupid science because today there is no science and I I, I I am consistent with my with my with my uh, uh, statement because what you have today is something you learn about to use what God he gave us if this is what science to you then you call it science electricity is exist before you know it you did not create electricity it is there you did not create waves it is there you did not create light it is there you did not create oxygen it is there you did not create carbon it is there you created nothing all what we do we call it science we learn how to use those things around us for our benefit and God he allowed us to do that So what you call science is nothing but the practice of learning about what is around us. And here we go, your science now, by practice, gave you an answer saying, yes, early earth was covered in a global ocean. Now, am I going to believe in the Bible because this stupid article confirmed what is in the Bible? Absolutely not. This is why I find atheists are very much hypocrite, the same as the Muslims. They share the same agenda. You speak to an atheist, he says to you, do you like banana? You say yes. He says, see, your origin is a monkey. This is their logic and this is their, their, their intelligence. They make fun of the Bible, but they do not know what science is even saying. We say circle, they say, Oh, circle is a flat. Since when circle is a flat? Do you know even what circle is? One moment, please. Circle is a flat. Circle is not even exist. Circle is virtual. So obviously the verse is speaking about a shape. And this is why it's using what we see in the front of us that like a grasshopper like an insect who is grabbing in the top of something which is not flat did you ask yourself why the Bible mentioned this uh, uh, insect why is that why it did not say only just the word uh, circle or a globe because we are living in the top of a surface which is not flat and this is what the verse is saying 
took you thousand of years to figure out what is written in the Bible thousand of years ago and yet we don't go and say we believe in God because of this verse no we don't it's not what that will make us believe in God is not if science except what Bible says will make us believe in God because this is have nothing to do really with God in any way in any me your science is stupid and then now you know nothing just yesterday I saw uh, in the news that the first time they were able to go down I don't know to how, how deep in the ocean first time in history I mean after a thousand of years you were able to go to the moon but yet you cannot go down in the ocean this is your stupid science until now we don't have we, what we know about the species inside the earth is nothing compared what we have until now people die by cancer everywhere and nobody knows how to stop it and you say to me no uh, 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 science is advanced that's a lie science helps some people and actually I call it not a science it's a practice of let us try this on you we try radiation we try this medicine we try that medicine so million people die before we find a medicine maybe it might work a stupid virus is called AIDS killing you know like okay finally we were able to stop the AIDS from making people die but still we are not able to fight a stupid virus is not even it's just so small to the point we can't even see by, by our naked eye yet our science cannot fight such a stupid tiny creature what is your science They created the machine to generate what it's called Big Bang. Caused them hundreds of millions of dollars in Europe. Go read the article. Stupid atheist. And after all of this, they come with nothing. As long something explode, and then you say infinity, infinity material. What is infinity? What is that? And what is the proof of what you say? All what you say is a theory. So let us say the Christian, they have a theory there's a God. And you have a theory of a big bang. So why you take your theory over their theory if both are theory for you? Hypocrisy. There's no proof of what you said. It is just a theory even rejected by tens of thousands of scientists. Uh, I find that atheist is very funny and very silly people and look what will happen when an atheist he gets sick the first thing he will say oh God help me he will not say oh scientist help me just wait when you are in the bed of death you will be like a chicken crying for God then the true you will appear Atheist he is atheist as long he is strong and healthy When he is sick, he is a piece of a trash. He cry and he says God And count my words All of them they are atheist until they are dying Human being is a greedy he think he is God as long he is healthy the second he start having diarrhea he says you know what look like this is who I am when when we say the earth hang on nothing and this is written thousand of years and the Christian you don't see Christian bragging okay let me show you what the Bible says the earth is hanged on nothing I don't see Christians doing that because so what so what it's just the Bible speaking you know, speaking of a fact why do you want to brag about it you discover it now it doesn't mean anything changed it's still it is a fact but we don't prove our God to be he is God because he said that what if he okay you see just to show you the silliness the scientists they mention many theories and they're proven to be wrong and the same scientists who they are scientists today 
the same scientists before them generations before them they thought the earth is a flat you can go to the books of the Greeks and you will find that the Greek scientists they thought the earth is a flat but they are scientists of their time so this is your science so your science is a flexible your, your science is like a whore she have no husband we try screw screws whatever fit there we say this is science oh it match oh this is science no this is not science this is we are trying things and it match anyway uh We welcome everybody from the atheist to leave their comment, okay? But I'm really uh, 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 surprised that we treat uh, Abdullah very nicely when he was here, and then yet he gave love for the comment saying Christian Prince is full of shit. I mean, how, how in the world, Samir Abdullah, you do that? You don't read you like you don't want to agree with me no problem don't agree but you love this comment so you 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 like me to uh, love a comment saying that you are full of shit and you are a software engineer if a software engineer he loves such a comment what about the uneducated atheist the one who never been in a school And if you don't want Christians to speak about science, why you mention science to Christians? I mean, when you read those comments, you see how hilarious they are. Like this idiot here. Amazing. That after CP says, the Bible is not the book of science. And then he went to mention science, proving his book. My friend, I am not proving my book by science. I am proving you stupid by my book. I do not need to prove my book to you. Who are you? I do not need to prove my book to anyone. You're free. You want to believe, you don't believe. Have fun. Who want to prove my book? No, I don't want to prove my book to you. And first of all, we believe in God not because of a book. God has exists before a book exists. And until now, you cannot solve a very simple answers i mean all the answers of science the, there's millions of questions science have no answer for them why because science is very limited what you call science and then when they say this guy he says okay what about science says that the earth or the heaven is extended okay we show him the verse it says that the, the heaven extended in the bible So it doesn't matter what the, you know okay how how you can explain to me the science says that the heaven is extending okay the bible says that thousands of years ago and then he says to me okay the funny is that christian prince he mentioned science in his book i was refuting you answering you abdul potato atheist all of you are the same Muslims, they have their stupidity about endless penis. Atheists, they worship their penis. One, he want to go to heaven to F as many women he can. And one, he want to F as women he can now because he don't believe in heaven. Both of you are the same. Both of you worship your penis. <laughs> It's the same. And let us see, when you get sick, you will remember who? You will remember your doctor or you will remember God? Your doctor himself, he gets sick and he die, in case you do not know. The idiot who give you medicine, he himself, he will die. The doctor, the scientist who tell you, 
don't smoke because smoking give you cancer he smoke and that is a proof that he's an idiot and he's a false scientist the same scientist he says to you a global warming we should stop using cars but yet he's drive the most expensive big cars because he's a hypocrite and we don't want you to believe in Christianity say who you are please anyway we go back to our topic we just wanted to give them a shower before we start are we good to go guys please don't don't forget to download our videos before we go to second broadcast because I don't keep them there especially if I use uh, like a, like yesterday I use a video for uh, princes which is not my video so I you know I'm afraid they might flag me for copyright so I have to take it down so always download the videos immediately before we take them especially if we are playing a video of someone else now the topic is there is no Allah prove me wrong who is the Muslim he is willing to give us a call and to tell us how he can prove to us that there is Allah you see Allah is not a word being God when we say there's no Allah Allah is not a word meaning God Allah is a name of a God which is the God of Muhammadan so we are not saying that we don't believe in God we are Christians and for sure we believe and we worship our God our Savior so we are not a question if God is exist or not we are questioned the God which his name is Allah is exist or not Can any Muslim and only Muslim please I don't want to receive any call from a Christians right now Can any Muslim give us a call and show us any proof? And feel free to speak in a respectable way if you want to be rude trust me. I'm an Arab. I Don't know how to explain that to you, but I will show it to you in the practice You want to be rude? You have no idea you are talking to who? And look what uh, what uh, uh, what uh, 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 Abdullah Samir he says. I had about two hour debate with the Christian Prince in his channel discussing atheism and Christianity. He agreed to give me a copy, but he deleted right away after I could download it. You see the hypocrisy, guys. How many times I say every video, please download my videos because they didn't stay long. And I said before I start that video, if you have it. That this is will not stay before even you call me and the name of the video was a princess is missing I was using NBC and this is the title NBC TV station princess is missing so I cannot keep the video there so look at their hypocrisy he deleted the video I delete all my videos <laughs> I mean the, the funny the funny they they come to you in a clothes of a sheep but they are wolves there's no difference between atheist and Muslim and this guy he is still a Muslim he have the mentality of a Muslim he stab you in the back and everybody can go and laugh at what you call debate first of all we did not debate this is not a debate well, since when this is a debate you call me we were talking about many topics and then you mention like did we agree to have a debate about something you're an atheist you speak all your life about your atheism since you became an atheist for me there's nothing to debate with an atheist I, I believe an atheist is somebody want to he believe he's an animal why I want to even debate with an animal if somebody he think he's an animal it's not even suitable for a human like me to speak to an animal like you. You are convinced you're an animal. Good for you. Go and get some grass. We are a human.
Now, do we have any anyone from the Muslims, even if Abdullah Samir wanna call for the fray? Still, I will take you. Any Abdul? If I don't de delete my videos, I should have like a million video right now. Aren't you guys com com complaining why I'm deleting my videos, leave them longer? I leave a video which is, first of all, like, uh, 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 let us say, they can't flag it, let us say, like, like the, the one I used yesterday, I played a video of, uh, of this princess, right? So they can flag it for copyright. And that's why from the beginning I said I will not keep it in any way. And this is what was the topic. The title is A Missing in Princess, right? So we, we know from the beginning is not, I'm not going to keep it. And I did not keep my videos anyway. The only ones I keep them is the funny ones, which is a debate and they cannot flag it. There's nothing there. Like debate with Dr. Rohi or the Abdul or etc. And a debate with an atheist, actually, I reposted this uh, video there. Uh, I get actually from his channel and obviously somebody is downloaded right away uh, I don't even believe it's worth to be in my channel to be honest with you it's like a child who do not know science trying to prove me wrong by science and you know like the first question he gave me is a, is a childish question how the Bible says the earth was covered by water. And then we find that, yes, the science agree that the earth is covered by water. So what we will do now? Are you going to stay an atheist? Are you going to start to believe in the book of uh, Genesis? Or you still to be an, uh, insist to be an atheist, even though it agree with science? How God, let, let us go with the scientist, uh, the, the, the atheist mentality. How God, how the Bible knows that the whole earth was covered by water. You tell me. I'm going with your stupid logic. How someone here wrote thousands of years ago that the whole earth is covered was covered by water. How he come to this conclusion? Let us say he's a liar. He, there's no God and God does not exist. And you know somebody is writing. How he, how he come to that? How it come to his mind that the earth is hanged on nothing? How would it come to his mind that the earth have a sh shape of a globe of a, or a circle? And we are hanging in the top of, a, of an earth which is not a flat. This is why he, he used the, the insect and named a grasshopper. How the Bible knows that there's a countess of stars? How the Bible knows that God, he stretched the heaven like curtain? I'm using your logic. So if you believe in science, then you have to believe in the Bible. But I don't believe in science. I believe in the Bible. What if science disagree with my Bible? Still, I will not believe in your science. Because your science is, most of it is a fiction science, which means it's a changeable. What is true today, it can be wrong tomorrow. You have a new discovery tomorrow. As an example, atheist, the, the statement in front of us, Atheists, they are making fun of the Bible for saying the water was covering the whole earth for centuries. And now they found that they are a stupid fool. And yes, the earth was covered by water. This is just an example of many examples. Water, is it and by time, the earth, the ground was appearing in the top. Atheists and I actually found that like all of the holy books seem to have the same problem. Like for example, um, like if you look at the Bible in Genesis one one two, okay. um, it says that there was water in the beginning. How do you how do you understand? How many times this guy he asked the same question to Christians? How many times? Thousand, two thousand times, three thousand times, million times. They think they have an, uh, they have something against Christianity. How the Bible says that? How is stupid you Christians? How in the world do you believe in that? Okay, now we find that science agree. So what we would do? Are you going to switch? No. Because you oppose the Christianity because you have an obsession. 
of stupidity not because the Christianity is wrong otherwise you should change your stand of point if you are decent if you are really truthful if you believe that in science what whatever science says to you then you have to admit that you are wrong and the Bible is right but still they will not admit now do we have any Abdul wanna call us and by the way uh, this conversation with this Abdul ex Abdul is in my channel you can download it and you can share it in your videos Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? No, really, you know, I'm 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 sick of those atheists. This is why I don't even uh, I don't waste my time talking to them, because speaking to an atheist is like speaking to a monkey. You speak to him in the language of a human. He speak in the language of the F word. And even the one who act polite in the front of you, who when he go, he stab you on your back. They are not decent they are hypocrites and they switch and they play with the words and there's no way you can satisfy them the only way for them to be satisfied when they go to the grave before you put them in the grave they will say oh god forgive me and count my words they speak too much about uh, human right I mean I never heard of somebody speaking about a human right as much as atheist so what is the communist in China who is a Stalin they speak about the crusade the crusade they were fighting back is not they are not they are not attacking it was them they mean attacked stupidity they don't even know history they don't know science they don't read they are copy paste like you know like it's a you know, bacteria are copy paste of each other, and they are exactly the same. And this is what many they do. It's like we copy the idea, but we don't think about the idea. While Christ saying love your enemy, and atheist was saying killing your own people, and not only that, they believe in killing their own babies, and yet they give you speech about the human right. And if you and and actually, the funny you find that atheists they are in bed with Islam. Islam order to kill atheists and yet atheists they are in bed with Islam. I never saw people defending Islam as much as atheists. If you don't believe me, go and see. The gay and lesbian going in the street holding or uh, a sign says all of us we are Muslims. But I will tell you why they take a side of Islam, not because they believe in Islam, they hate Islam. But because they believe the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It's an evil mentality. We Christian, we don't believe in that. We Christian, we believe my enemy is someone I need to help and I love to help. So he will understand better. So for them in the bed together, because both they say they share the same ethic. They have they are from the same school of ethic. There's no much difference between atheist and Islam. Both they justify killing in the way they want, as they wish. When they show to you, they say to you, okay, do you see what the Bible says about killing and attacking? I say to him, did you, you atheist, do you kill and attack? You kill even your own baby, and you think this is your right to kill it. You fight for a cat right, but you make a law that I can kill a baby in the womb of the mother. Why? Because I did the wrong sex. So you yourself should not exist, because your mom one day she was able to make a decision to get to 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 flush you in the toilet seat, like shit. Both of them they share the same ethic. It just two coin, one coin, two faces. But anyway, please don't believe in Christianity. We do not need you. Now, do we have any Abdul?
Do we have any Abdul? No, we Christian, we should not and we shall not compromise. Say things as it is. And the funny they speak, they say the Christian prince was rude, he speak over you. <laughs> you want to know who is rude? Go and see comments of atheists. The F word is all over. An atheist, he cannot say two statements together without saying the F word. Even if you want to drink water. And yet they want to school us about being rude. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. Abdul is needed. Anyone? And the funny he complained about me uh, not... Uh, not keeping the video guys didn't I didn't I say yesterday to him download it fast because I'm not going to keep it there didn't I say that to him I mean how hypocrite you are I said to you download it fast because I'm not going to keep it there even before we finish the conversation Anyway, and no, no, uh, you see, uh, 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 Samir, you are the one who is doing that. You gave a love for a comment of saying a Christian prince he is full of bullshit. How you do that? I, I spoke to you with respect, I did not insult you. And then this is your comment. Is that your comment or, or or this is your love sign? Do you see it, Abdullah Samir? Is that me making a statement or this is in your page now? How you give a love sign to somebody says to you this comment? So if somebody now, he says, Samir Abdullah, he is a person full of bu bu bullshit. Huh? I say, okay, I'm going to give you love for this. That's mean you agree with him. That's mean you just say the same, st same statement. Don't play a victim now. Are you going to play victim? Did I insult you when you call me? Guys, not even, even after he hung up, a, a person of you, he called me and he was discussing about what he said. I said, it's okay, I respect him. Did I say that? So how you go on your page and you love a, 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 love a comment? That's mean you agree with it. That's mean this is your statement now. What kind of a person, okay, you don't agree with me, but how you can love such a comment? Or maybe you are uh, the same as a girl who is giving kisses to anyone, any man in the road. I love you. An atheist in love with atheist. Whatever they say, we agree with them. And I say to you, before we finish, please download the video fast because I'm not going to keep it there. So why you went and you went, made, a, made a complaint saying, I took the video before you download it. I said to you, download it. This is why someone else downloaded it before you. You claim that you cannot download it. No, somebody else downloaded it before you. How they were able to download it, but yet you cannot. What a shame. We spoke to, the, to him in the whole conversation in a very nice way, in a very nice you know, talk. I did not call him names. I did not insult him. I did not say even the word is stupid, which always I use. You know, you know me. I was very careful when I spoke to this person to speak to him in a very nice way. Yet, 
you turn your back they, they start stabbing you and calling your names this is what atheist is about and the funny even he called his video debate with the christian prince i did not debate you we have a conversation we call me we are talking about islam suddenly you switch talking about the bible how even you change how, how even you lie and you say this is a debate Did we use uh, any uh, scientific method to prove our point? You were making a statement. I was making a statement. Both of us, we are reading the articles. Not, not neither you, neither me, is an is a scientist. So how that can be a debate? But maybe you like to show off, like I'm debating Christian Prince. Here we go. You want to see me, guys? And this is why you are desperate to have the video in your channel. For me, it's not worth it. That's why I delete it. I keep in my channel what is worth it and actually I took the video from your channel because okay you put it there I will put my channel let everybody laugh anyway just forget about it now do we have any Abdul would like to call us Yeah, you know, when you want to debate about science, I mean, it's very silly to bring two people who they have no idea what science is, and then both of them suddenly they are scientists. That is silly, right? I mean, this is literally silly. It's like two kids talking about who made the banana, and neither of them knows how the banana is made. Science debate should be between two, two scientists. Bring a Christian scientist and bring an atheist scientist and let us debate and see, like, you know, this guy, both of them, they have the same uh, uh, background, the same, the same topic, and this is what they study, science. I did, not, I did not involve talking about science until you jumped to speak about science, trying to prove that there's mistakes in the Bible. And, and, and I find it very funny that somebody speak about science, he said the circle is a flat. And he is a software engineer. Circle is a virtual thing, it doesn't exist. How it can be flat? There's nothing that's called circle. The same as there's nothing that's called north, the same nothing that's called south. It's a virtual thing. We put in the map, we make a map, virtual map, and we say this is south, this is north, but in fact there's no north, there's no south. What is your science? And then you see um, uh, an atheist saying, a Christian prince, the funny that Christian prince, he denies science. I did not say I deny science. I said science is a practice. It's not really a science. You call it science. It's a practice. It's a practice. We are figuring out, learning about what God he created. We learn that there's electricity, but electricity exists before we learned about it. my friend no problem your apology is accepted but still i believe that there is god and you will see count my words abdullah samir you are going to believe in god how long is going to take actually even in the debate with me you forgot yourself and i said let us pray you yourself you forgot yourself and you said let us pray in the debate as an atheist so almost you are out of atheism almost and not only that, in the debate you said, I cannot say there's no God. You said that. You said maybe there is, I don't you know. So you're not even sure. And that would make funny about atheism, that they are not sure, but yet they are sure. They are sure there's no God. Look what you said, there's no God. But in the debate he says, I cannot deny, I cannot confirm there's no God. Maybe there's God. <laughs> Guys, isn't this what he said, Abdullah? This is what he said. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 very funny. You know, we try we try to be uh, mature as much as we can, but I some sometimes I find that our comment and our statement is not mature. In your debate, you says you cannot refuse, you cannot confirm that there's no God. Maybe there's God. 
The debate is in your channel. Go watch it. In your debate, you said that it's pray. It's not me who said that's pray. I, I am the one who should say that. I am the Christian who said that. And then you fix yourself, said, okay, no, no. Uh, when I said to you, oh, now you want to pray? Then you said, I want to pray to my pizza, whatever. I mean, something's like, uh, this is what you say. <laughs> anyway, Abdullah, you are welcome. Uh, we go back to our topic. Who is a Muslim when I call us and prove to us that there is Allah? Any Abdul? Any Abdul here? I am a Christian prince and I claim that none of you can debate me. And uh, uh, I, I will add something new to my career. I debate monkeys. People who believe in Darwin. This is a new. I will add it to my resume. I, I, you know, I want to debate those people who believe that uh, a black person, he should put in a cage to prove that the origin of a black man is a monkey as Darwin the filthy he did. This is your God, Darwin. This is science, right? Do we have any Abdul? Abbas, Abbas is just a kid, you know, let me, get me his dad. I mean, why from all the Muslims, I mean, is that a curse? Seriously, is it a curse? Look who is calling me. A guy, he called himself, what his name is yesterday, the one who called me, he could keep reminding me because I keep forgetting his name. Ultimate fort? Ultimate fort. Abbas. I mean, go and watch their previous calling to me and you will die laughing of their stupidity. And they keep calling me. I, I, I want to I wanna get someone. He is a smart Muslim, please. Stop sending me monkeys. Who is a Muslim? My Skype is open. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Ultimate fort. Yesterday he called me. He says, do you know that Jesus, he have three fathers? Said really? <laughs> I mean, those people they go to the bathroom and they squeeze it, squeeze it, they squeeze it, squeeze it, and nothing come. And then he said to himself, "What should I call myself? What should I call myself?" Oh, okay, I got an idea. Ultimate fault. After you call Christian Prince to say to him that the Bible says that Jesus have three fathers. Are you sure? I mean, this is very deep. <laughs> and who is the father of Jesus Abdul? Uh, uh, David, okay, and Joseph, okay, and God. <laughs> Let me add one for you. What about Adam? <laughs> I mean, they are silly as diarrhea in a summer day. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? What you will do if a Muslim copy and paste what you answer to atheist? I mean, well, okay, you see, I saw actually in the text in the comment of atheist about my conversation to the atheist yesterday, they say this is the same argument, the Muslim, they use the same argument uh, Christian Prince he used. I find that this is funny because I never heard of an atheist speaking to a Muslim using the same argument. You know, Muslims, they adopt. Let me tell you what Muslims do. Muslims, they are like they do what the lizard do. Do you know this? I don't know what they call it in English. The lizard who changed his color. What the name, guys? What the name of that uh, creature? Like if you walk in the grass, he's green. If you go in the rock, he's the same color of the rock. This is what they do. So Muslims, they are against science. And then... They found out that Islam is so stupid. So what we do? We claim that Quran agree with science. They don't reject science no more. 
So you will find Muslims saying that we agree with the Big Bang. You don't find the Muslim saying I don't agree with the Big Bang. Why? Because they made an article saying Quran agree with the Big Bang. So Islam is a is the same as a snake. It changed its skin, depend in the situation, the size, the place, the season. We don't do that. I don't agree with science. Doesn't mean I oppose science. No, which mean what I agree upon is that something is confirmed to be true. If you call that science, I find that this is very silly because it's it's already exists. Is this not science? You want to tell me the earth and the flat? We know that. You did not. You did not. This is not science. This is something you discover. It is not science. It's already there. This is my idea when I say I I, I, ref, I refuse this kind of science to be called science. If you tell me that. Uh, 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 science tell us how the ants they lay eggs. This is just you learn about them. This if this is science, this is silly. I just learned about how ants they do their own life, but they are doing that for 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 thousands of years. What is science for you? Took you took you took you schools and university to study. The ant is laughing at you now. He says, "I know that all of this. If you want, I can and write an article for you about how we lay eggs." So I don't I don't say there is no nothing is called science, but I believe that science have different definition. Science is something we practice and we learn from our practice how we can subjugate things around us for our benefit. You call it science, I call it learning about nature. It's there. Electricity is there. You did not make electricity. You did not create waves. The cell phone, the cell phone you created, is just you learn how to use and subjugate what is already exist. You did not create it. As simple as that. Like uh, uh, he said to me about the antibiotic. Antibiotic is not you who create antibiotic, it exists. Actually, even according to scientists, they discovered it by mistake. As I remember when I was like in elementary school, it says, I forget the, the name of the scientist. She found, I think it was a female. She found something growing in the top of an old orange or something like that, or lemon. Is that correct, guys? This is how they discovered the antibiotic. You did not, you did not, you did not create it. It's there. Moldy bread, moldy bread. I forgot really what it is. So you claim that this is science. I mean, this is we are learning about things. Okay, I'm learning too. So we learn, we learn about things around us created by God, but yet they call it science. As simple as that. You can call it whatever you want. For me, it's just a learning method about what is around us. Now, do we have any Abdul? And you see, uh, uh, like, uh, when an atheist, he says he don't believe in God. In fact, he do. Because atheism is a religion. If you go and study what is religion, so religion is a group of people believe in, th in something. And not to believe in God is atheism, right? But you, you exchange your God with what you call science. And then... Many of you exchange it with believing in yourself to be the center of the earth. So atheism, actually, I believe it's a very dangerous belief, no less dangerous than Islam. Because an atheist, his main concern is just himself. Atheists cannot explain to us charity. Atheist, he cannot come to us with something he considered called morality 
his moral is different from our moral and it's very dangerous right now in, in California they are asking the government of California to allow having sex with the children Bernie Sander I find his funny his, uh, his name is funny I don't know what Bernie mean what does that Bernie mean I think there's a cartoon it's called Bernie anyway Bernie Sander the first statement he said in his election coming in like this election to, uh, last week he says we have to stop war and drugs how in the world somebody he believe in science he says such a thing he want to stop war and drugs what do you mean everybody to be high driving in the highway killing people imagine you are a teacher in school and then all your student they are smoking marijuana student today we are going to talk to you about mistakes in the bible and the atheist student smoking marijuana he would say to him sir first of all where is the earth it did exist he's high this is your science and this is your logic You know, when I uh, I went to uh, China, you know, China is a communist country, right? The police officer in the uh, in the airport, uh, he was looking at me, look at the passport, and look at me. So he said, uh, "Are you Christian?" You know, the Chinese they have their accent; it's hard to understand them. Are you Christian? I said, yeah, I'm Christian. I said, what are you coming here for? I said, to visit China. Hey, anybody working for you? You know, they are afraid and they are terrified that a Christian is going to come and he is going to teach the gospel just because he saw a cross on my neck. Terrified like a rat. And the funny they speak about others crimes and then now we are waiting for Abdul to call us Or, you know, they speak about, uh, uh, as an example, like somebody is speaking about uh, uh, a priest. Priest. First of all, those are not Christian priests. The Bible says, Jesus said, it is better for the one who harmed the little one to put a milestone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean. So how you can call that a priest? He is atheist. For if he believe in God, he will not commit what is called sin, deadly sin against God. Do we agree, guys? A person who believe in God yet he claimed to be a priest there's no way he is a Christian yet he commit what is the most ugly crime against God he is an atheist my friend on the best scenario he is a Mohammedan because they believe in the child molestation and they believe in having sex with children somebody can be considered as a Christian only if he follow the steps of Jesus Jesus himself he gave the answer he says not everyone says to me Lord Lord but the one who will do the will of my father not everyone will say to me Lord Lord which means God God he will go where to the kingdom of my father to heaven so those aren't Christians and the Bible confirmed that you cannot be a drug dealer and you are Christian you cannot be a thief and you are a Christian. You cannot be a prostitute and you are a Christian. That's what the Bible says. So don't fool yourself and say, oh, those are Christians. They are not. You know, when when a farmer, he collects 
his uh, seeds let us say what we make the uh, flower from before it became a flower it was seed right but between the seed there's bad seed they filter them and this is what this earth is about the earth is a filter for the bad seed so don't count the bad seed to be christians they are not but because they are desperately trying to find bad seed between the good seed so they can say all the seed are bad do we understand guys i apologize if my english is not so good to explain some ideas Yeah, sometimes I find myself like limited because English is not my first language, as you know. So I'm limited sometimes in certain words to you to use, and sometimes like what what I will say here. I mean, what what is the word to use? So if you are a decent person, you judge Christianity by Christ, not by me. I might be a sinner, I might be a killer, I might be a drug dealer, I might be whatever I am, and that's why we spoke about there is heaven and hell. And this is here you see another agenda the Muslim they say to you that Christian believe they are saved by the blood of Jesus well, What does that mean? They try to spread the propaganda lying and saying that we believe that because Jesus died that's it We are saved. That's not really not true That's absolutely false We believe in the redemption of Jesus If we do his will, that's what Jesus said you have to do his will not you say he is my God you Muslim, you say Shahada, you're going to heaven. We don't believe in Shahada and we go to heaven. Which means you believe in hypocrisy. We don't believe in hypocrisy. Jesus said that from their fruits, you shall know them. Not from their names. So to know a Christian, who is a Christian who is not, then we examine the fruits. Not the name. My name is a Christian prince doesn't mean I'm a Christian. Now, do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us, please? Why you do believe in Christianity? That's a good question. Find me better than Jesus and I will switch. <laughs> Can you? Can you? I mean, after all what you learn about this amazing name and you are saying to me, why you believe in Christianity, which means in Christ, will find me better than his name and I will switch. Do you have better? Sometimes people they ask questions and I find them very silly. But still, you know, a human being he have the right to answer. I mean to get to get the answer. And we are different in background, we are different in education, we are different in knowledge. So all the questions are valid, but ask yourself. I mean, if I ask you the same question, why you believe in Allah? What you will say to me? Why you why you believe in Allah? Because Allah He says the earth is a flat, or because He said the 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 the, uh, the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. As I know, it comes from the testicles. Right? So call me and tell me why you believe, why you as a Muslim, why you believe in, in, in Muhammad. What Muhammad is about for you. And feel free to prove it to me. 
Why you believe in Allah? Hmm? Why you believe in Allah? Is that because of this? Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Well, I answer, I answer you. I mean, what, what do you want to believe in atheism? You want me to believe I am a monkey? What do you want me to believe? That there was a big bang one day? And then we ask you, what is that? You say a theory. So you, a person who is an atheist, who believe in a theory, and you are making fun of Islam, when you yourself, you believe in a theory. I mean, how silly is that? What is your science? Is it science to believe in a theory? Is that what science for you? You have a theory, and the Muslim you have a theory. You have a theory that there is like somebody, his name is Allah. He will make his penis endless. You have a theory that there is something explode. And it was infinity. Or infinite whatever you call it theories both of you are following theories and your theories are very funny I find it amusing the only big bang I see in Islam that Muhammad he was able according to him he, he is able to have sex as a 40 men in one day that is a big bang. Anything else? I don't see it. Where is that? Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us, please? And by the way, if you are a Muslim, feel free to use any method you want to prove to me that Allah is exist. Feel free, please. How you do it, I don't care. Do your best. I'm not going to even to ask you a question. The only question I have, there is no Allah. Now, how you prove it to me, it's your business. Anyone? CP debate Basha Indonesia. Who is this guy Basha Indonesia? There's a guy. His name is Basha Indonesia. There's a guy here. His name is Basha. Please, Mister Basha Indonesia. Please call me. I beg you. Is he here? So what I will do now? How I can make this guy call me? Should I sing for him? Basha, Basha, where are you? Everybody calling for you. Please call us right, right now. So we can make you barbecue. Basha Basha, where are you? We are waiting for you. And what I would do more? Debate Basha, I'm a Christian. So guys, you made me, you want me to debate a Christian guy? That guy is a Christian. <laughs> Sorry, I got I get it wrong. I thought, I thought you were asking me to debate somebody. His name is Basha. Forgive my ignorance. I was, I was. By the way, our book translation to Spanish is all is is done. So soon is going to be out. But I was telling this, uh, the, this the person who translate uh, the book, my book in Spanish. Once I went to the Dominican, and in the restaurant there is like an open buffet restaurant, and there's a guy before me, 
and he have a woman with him I don't know his wife or girlfriend I don't know and he was pointing his finger at a dish and he was saying ponita now me the smart Arab I thought this is the name of the dish second day I went to a different restaurant I love this dish so the waitress she came to me and I said to her I want she don't speak English I said I want uh, ponita she laughed and she starts like walking around looking at me and she came again I said her here where's my food ponita and she laughed again and then she went behind the counter and she started talking to her friends and looking at me and I said what's wrong with those people why they are looking at me like this I start looking at my clothes maybe something funny maybe there's some dirt in my shoes or something what's wrong and then a guy he walked by he said do you speak English he said yeah he said I ordered a long time ago and uh, I forgot to tell you before before this guy he come this girl she came back to me and she gave me a piece of paper her has her phone number on it so what's wrong with those people I ordered food she gave me her phone number so she didn't speak English she left and she left then the guy he came I said do you speak English wait a waiter you know I said do you speak English he said yeah I said okay finally somebody speak English here I ordered a long time ago I ordered my dish until now I did not have it he said what do you order I said ponita I said what ponita I said I ordered ponita I told the girl ponita I said ponita sir mean pretty <laughs> So the poor girl, she thought I'm a flirting with her because I said to her two or three times, Ponita. But I wasn't really talking to her about uh, how she looked like. I, I thought this is the name of the dish. <laughs> oh, boy. And I was wondering why she is giving me her number. I mean, finally, there's a girl in the world. She is giving me her number. I can't believe it. i like, what? So in this country, you ask for Ponita, they give you a, a number. That's good. I would do it always. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do we have any Abdul? But this is this is how funny sometimes your ignorance. You know, it's it's my ignorance subjugating me to to different story. Imagine this woman; she is married, and I am saying to her Bonita, and she call her husband. Say bye bye to Christian Prince. <laughs> you will hear the news: Christian Prince get killed because he was flirting with married Spanish women. He told her bonita. <laughs> oh boy! Do we have any Abdul? I don't know. I feel like there is somebody trying to call me, but I don't see it in Skype appearing. I don't see anything appearing in Skype. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul? Who is a proud Abdul would like to call us and tell us how Allah is God? What is the proof that Allah is God and His exist? Anyone? <clears throat> There's a guy, his name Key P is calling, but I cannot find him in Skype. Key P. Okay. Are you a Muslim? All right. Hello? Salam alaikum, CP. Hello? Are you in the street? No, I'm uh, I'm like a boss. I'm driving. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's good. All right, what do you want to say to us, my friend? CP, uh, I saw you were talking about your translating your uh, book into Spanish. Um, I just wanted to. I had a question for you, but I, I wanted to let you know if you ever needed help to translate one of your books into uh, Urdu, uh, I could help do that. But my question to you was. Um, do you know about any offensive wars that Muhammad did? I, I'm sorry, I don't want to interrupt your show. I just wanted to ask any a question because or all I know his war is offense. What was that? All his wars are offense. Just go to Wikipedia, search the attacks, like attacks of the Prophet. Attacks of the Prophet? Yes. Well, the Muslims they'll say all oh, these were all defensive, no, 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 right? No, they cannot. No, they cannot because simply he was the one attacking. How you can be defending if you're the attacking person? 
Okay, what about the the one where he came uh, to from Medina to Mecca? Didn't they try to kill him? No, no, no. You see, first of all, there's no proof of that. Secondly, let us say, let us say, somebody tried to kill me, and I run away from that city. Why I go and I, I wait for them in the roads, and I kill them, and they are civilian trade businessmen. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Let us say, I was in your village, and people, they tried to kill me, and I went out. And then I wait out of the village, and I wait for trade merchandise people coming out and I attack them. What does have to do with those people who they try? Why I'm killing people, attacking them, stealing their money, stealing their money. <laughs> Muhammad okay, he left. Right. Muhammad he left, and he never been harmed. And even in Islamic books, it says it clearly: he was not been harmed by anyone, and he left voluntarily. Oh, the no, Quran I thought says, they said that the, the, the says, Quraysh listen, tried to kill him, right? Muhammad, he left because simply they did not accept him. So Muhammad, the Muslim, they say, they rejected the Prophet. The Quran says, don't you fight those who kicked you out of your home? But the fact, the Quran saying, aren't you going to fight those who, by rejecting you, made you leave your homes? Yeah. And okay. even, even though, you know, the Bible says, if, if there is somebody disrespect you, disrespect the Bible or the word of God, Clean your shoes and walk away. Clean their shoes from your dust. Don't attack them back. Don't wait them for them. We have the apostle of Jesus. They've been crucified. They've been killed. They've been slaughtered. So why the apostle of Jesus did not go out of town and have a bench, bunch of gangs and attack people in the street for they are they harm them? Oh, okay. Right. If right, Islam right. is peace, let us say, let us say the message of peace. How somebody want to promote peace? Let us say somebody attack me and I am saying to you, I love peace. Okay, do you create peace by attacking them back or if they are wrong? Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So let us say those people are sick. How you make the sick healthy? By killing them? Sure. Okay, so we notice here that the Muslims, they are not consistent with their lies. Their lies are not consistent. They, you know, they 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 they, they duplicate. When Muhammad he sent the message to the, to the to the king of the Roman and the king of the Persian and the king of Ethiopia, saying, "Convert or die." Yeah. Did he, the king of the Roman, occupy Mecca before? When Muhammad he sent, he took he took more than thirty thousand Muslim to Tabuk to attack the Roman. Did the Roman send a message to Muhammad saying, "Convert to Christianity, or we will kill you"? So it's a fabrication, my friend. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all I got for you. Thank you so all much. Right. Thank Bye. You. Yeah. And anyway, you find a good list of the accounts of Muhammad uh, attacking people in in uh, uh, in my book. And if you go to the Hadith as an example, you'll find many of them. But there's a famous story. It's called Bani al-Mustaliq. Bani al-Mustaliq. Even their Islamic source says that Muhammad he attacked them without warning this is their book not my book it says the prophet suddenly attacked Bani al-Mustaliq without warning while they were headless and their cattle were being watered did Bani al-Mustaliq are they from Quraysh no did they kill Muhammad and his people no why you are taking their women as captives? And why you killed all the men? Hmm? So if you go by the, the version of Islam by Muslims, you will find it very funny and far away from the truth. Let's see this guy. If you are trying to call me and you are a Muslim, don't call. I want Muslims, please. One more time, you call me and you don't confirm you are a Muslim, I will block you. Only Muslims can call. Any Abdul? I'm not getting your number. I don't have a number. You call me in Skype.
any believer who believe in Allah would like to call us no I'm not really interested to, to, to debate with an atheist because there's nothing to believe in or to debate about you believe you are a monkey uh, good for you and I am out of bananas we have nothing to debate about do we have any Abdul wanna call us where we can find the word squeeze you do not need to find it it's something you practice but this has happened to you if you became a prophet according to Islam the first thing happened to Muhammad he been squeezed three times which is really amazing because think about it it looked like Muhammad was being activated by squeezing now, who is a Muslim want to say I'm lying? Somebody is an atheist. He saw you give up. No, I didn't give up, but it's useless. It's stupid. I don't, I don't want to waste my time. An atheist, he believes in science. Go and let your science work. Worship your science. There's nothing to talk about. What I will say to you? I say to you that Jesus, he made the water wine. You don't believe in that. You're an atheist. Do you have a book to debate about? You don't have a book. You are just a flying ideas. You are a flight of thoughts. And when we say atheist, what atheist is about? Everyone have different belief. Even you, you atheist, you don't know even what you believe in. Everybody come with his own ideas of atheism. So debate you about what? I don't even know what you believe. All what you have, you say to me, there's no God. And the funny, you try to prove to me that there's no God. How you can prove something not to be exist if he doesn't exist? I mean, this is the most stupid idea. Let me prove to you that God does not exist. How you can prove what is not exist to be not exist? If he doesn't exist. Logic. You can prove to me that I am an ape? You do not need to prove that. I look like one. This is why I'm still single, don't you see? Are you winning? Are you a winner now? So you want to call me to prove to me that you are an ape? Well, I want to even talk to you. You are an ape. I am a human. I am. You are not welcome. Sorry. This form here only for a human. A person want to prove to me that he is a monkey or he's an ape. Why in the world even I want to talk to him? I prefer to go to the zoo and I will meet you there. And next time I come to the zoo, I will bring some banana with me. Just give me uh, your 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 cage number. Because Darwin, he have many cages for you. Darwin, he brought, because he's a filthy racist, he brought a black African, he put him inside the cage to prove that this is a man who used to be a monkey. This is your stupid belief. This is your science. Mr. Darwin. And the funny, they worship Darwin. I mean, Darwin is a big example for... Uh, the funny, the atheists, they say, a cross is offending us. Darwin is not. They say this general, he was having his slaves. We don't take his status. Darwin is not. Potatoes. You are the same as the Abdul. Both of you are infected with diarrhea. The area of a flight of thoughts. You have no idea who you are. You are even you are not even satisfied with your gender. Like am I am a male, a female, male, a female. I like to be a female. This is how much confused you are. Should we use a bathroom for male or female alone, or we should mix them together? I mean, look how busy they are busy with something very important. Bathroom should be for male alone. This is discrimination. This is discrimination. 
I mean, you speak about Islam to be silly, and look how silly you are. In the year 2019, your major topic is we should not allow a bathroom for male alone. I mean, that is really something. I mean, you are squeezing your brain so hard. You are very smart. Super intellect. Now, do we have any Abdul? Muhammad, he was not a friend of any Aramaic monk. No, this is not really accurate. Muhammad, he is a student of his father, which is Waraq ibn Nawfal. Waraq ibn Nawfal is a person who is a student of other Aramaic monk. And the hadith confirm that Muhammad, he learned or let us say he been announced even to be a prophet by Waraq ibn Nawfal, which is his father, the real father of Muhammad. If you go in the book of Sahih al-Bukhari, you will see it says here that after Muhammad being squeezed three times by what he called Jibreel, yet Muhammad did not recognize who is this guy who is squeezing him three times. He went to his wife and he said to her, cover me, cover me. And he told her even, Khadija, what's wrong with me? And by the way, this is what Muslims feel after they speak to me first time. The Muslim, they come, they debate me, they go back to their houses, to their wife, they say to his wife, cover me, cover me, and then he wake up and he said to her, what's wrong with me? But because of the terror of squeezing, Because the prophet was being squeezed three times. And then if you go down in the story, you will find that when uh, Waraka, when Muhammad, he came to Waraka, and obviously Waraka is behind Islam, Waraka is the one who told him the name of the pro of the of the angel. Muhammad himself is the last one to know. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? He did not know even who is the one who spoke to him. So he came to Waraka, and look what the Muslim in their story they say. Waraka, he was a, a partner uncle, i.e., the father of Khadija, who during the pre-Islamic period become a Christian. That's a lie. He did not become a Christian. He became an Asara. And Nasara are not Christians. And he used to write Arabic writing. And he used to write of the gospel in Arabic. That is the Quran. Do you see it? And then, as you see here, it says he used to write the gospel in Arabic as much as Allah he wished him to write. So he is a person who is guided by Allah. Mm hmm and then Waraka is the one who told Muhammad that now you became a prophet and the one who spoke to you is the Namus which is i.e. Jibreel the angel who keep the secrets Muhammad until now he do not know who is the one who spoke to him imagine the guy okay let's let let, let's make it simple I was in my house I've been squeezed three times I go to my wife my wife should take me from my hand to the cousin of her cousin the cousin of her cousin, he says to me, tell me the story. I tell him the story. The guy, he says to me, this guy, his name is Namus and he is Jibril. I mean, the guy who been squeezed, he have no idea. The one who never saw, never witnessed, he knew. Any Muslim can tell me how this guy he knew? The one who was been squeezed is Muhammad, but the one who discovered who is that is Waraka. How are you, Yusuf Ali? Yusuf Ali, do you have an idea why your prophet been squeezed three times? 
who is the Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to tell us why the angel he squeezed him three times anyone Okay, let's see here. Hello. Yes, my friend, how are you? You're yeah, fine. Thank you, Christian Prince. You're welcome. How I can help you, my friend? Uh, I was trying to call you all through, uh, but I was not able to get you. But I'm glad that you know I've got you. I just have my. I'm 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 from a Muslim background, but I have a brother that I talk with. You know about you know Islam and things like that, but he does not agree. Mm -hmm. So I just want to schedule a time with uh, you so that I can invite him so that he come because he believes that you know somebody who can speak Quran. That is the person that can understand and explain things. Okay, my friend. Anytime, feel free. Just tell me that he is there. Text me first. Mm -hmm. I will call you back right away. Okay. If he is there. Anytime I am okay. there, there's no need to schedule a time. You know, I Muslims are always welcome to speak to me and I, I, I love to talk to them. All right. Okay. And okay. he can invite yeah. him at, at 10 uh, shakes if you wish. Okay. All right. Anything else? Yeah. Thank you so much. I thought that you are even an angel. Given a chance, you know, to the Muslims so that they can repent and come to Christ, you know. I hope the so. first time I heard you, what, hold yeah. On, uh, before you go, you said you are an ex Muslim yourself, right? Yes, yes, yes. Why you left Islam? Why you don't want to get the versions? No, 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 <laughs> I don't want to get those people, you know, why? because why? most of the things in the Quran, you know, like you know, logically, it doesn't give sense, you know, so that's why. Why it's it's very logical to have a lot of beautiful women and their asses one mile. I mean, come on, you don't want that, you see, that one has no use, it has no use, you know. Well, if I you read know, the I'm Bible, you trying, understand deeply, you know, you understand that you know you are connected to God. My friend, come on, Islam is the truth. I mean, Allah, He will make you have 70 years orgasm. You don't want that, are you sure? No, I don't want that at all. Okay, I don't want what that. What about 71 years? No, because I can talk to Allah, I speak Arabic, I can ask Him for increasing your orgasm, like to, to make it special. No, <laughs> all right, my friend. Thank you for yeah. that. That one doesn't give sense, you know, it's not. Cool at all. All right, mm. my friend. Thank you very much for for calling me and let your friend call me anytime he wish. Okay. Take okay. Care. Take care. All right. Thank you. Okay. So tomorrow you'll be online. Uh, God is willing. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I will not be alive. I don't know. Okay. If I am <laughs> if I am alive, still alive, I most I will be on air. You know, God knows. We will okay. See. All right. Yeah. But, but mostly I'm. All right. Thank you so. Much. You're welcome. All right. All right. Take care. All right. Uh, anytime, if you have any Muslim, you feel like you want to call me, feel free, please. I, I was, I felt sorry for this guy. He left Islam, so now he will not get all those privilege of vagina and endless penis. I mean, don't you want to have an endless penis, guys? I have only one wish: that if the heaven of Allah is true. I want YouTube to allow me to do live broadcast from the heaven of Allah. And all the Muslims we saw in YouTube, we will see them naked and their penis is endless. Zakir Naik, Shabir Ali, I mean, you name it. Brother Shabir, Shabir, yes, who is this CB? What are you doing here? You're not allowed here. How you know it's me? Because you are the only one who don't have an endless penis. Look how small it is. <laughs> Look how small. Shabir, why your penis is so big, brother? It's so endless. Brother, do you know where is your penis now? I have no idea, brother. It might be in China. It might be in the galaxy number 77.
I mean, obviously, the Muslim they will find out right away that I am not a Muslim if I am in the heaven of Allah. I will be the only one who don't have an endless penis. They will say kafir, kafir, and not only that, I will be black. Remember, you remember, Allah will make us black, all non-believers, and I'm so happy. Finally, I will be black. I cannot wait, man. Uh, a Muslim saying in the text, Christian Prince, you are an immigrant. And, hello, your prophet, he's an immigrant too. But look the difference between me and your prophet. I am an immigrant who love this country. Your, your prophet, he immigrated to the Jewish city and he killed them all. They welcome him, they open their doors for him, and then he killed them all. So, yes, I am an immigrant, but I'm not like you. Do we have any Abdul? I mean, this Abdul, he was thinking deeply. Christian Prince, he is where from, where from. Uh -huh, I got it. He is an immigrant. I mean, that's deep. Oof. Mean. I, I, for me, I, I, it's going to take me like a thousand years to think about it. I mean, how you how you were able to find out, Yusuf? Let me guess, let me guess. Maybe because of my accent? No way. Maybe because my English is funny? No way. Maybe because I speak Arabic? Aha! Uh -huh. He got me there. Do we have any Abdul? And then now we have zero Abdul. Now, we move in the topic and you will see that when Waraq ibn Nawfal he died. Warqa bin Ofer, what happened? He died. Read with me carefully. But after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also passed. Why in the world Allah will stop sending inspiration if Waraka he died? What is the connection? What the heck? Why? And then the divine inspiration was paused for a while and the prophet became so sad uh, Muhammad do you want some water no what about tea leave me alone what about coca leave me alone okay do you like to have a breakfast I don't want to eat what about lunch I hate you leave me alone a prophet do you want to have a dinner I told you leave me alone uh, prophet did you watch the video it's called leave a Britney alone so Muhammad was suffering from the same situation with this guy who he make a video says leave a Britney alone and then Muhammad he decided and he found a solution what is the solution oh you might think that Muhammad decided to become an atheist no way no 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 don't even try he decided to commit suicide so that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Oh boy. I wish I have my camera there at that time. Oh boy. I mean, you can imagine how many people will watch that video. Prophet Muhammad climbing the mountain, hiking. The, the, the first video, we will call it the Prophet hiking the mountain. Second video, the prophet arriving to the middle of the mountain. Third video, the prophet in the top of the mountain. Fourth video, the prophet trying to jump from the top of the monkey, uh, sorry, the mountain. And then you will see the view will jump for that video, like millions, what millions? All the Abdul in the world will watch it. And then guys, when the prophet arrived in the top of the high mountain, and every time, he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down. Jibreel, Jibreel, my friend. He appeared in front of him. And he says to him in his Jewish accent, Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad. Khabibi Muhammad, what are you doing, Khabibi? Khabibi Muhammad, what are you doing? And the Prophet looked at Jibreel like, what the heck was this guy? Like, hello? I mean, even here, you are here? I am in the top. I found you in my bedroom. I let it go. I found you in the cave, I let it go. 
I am in the top of the high mountain. What are you doing here? So Jibreel, he said to Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi, oh Khabibi, oh Muhammad, you are indeed Khabibi. You are messenger of Allah, Khabibi. Khabibi, you are? Muhammad, he looked at him. Are you sure, brother? Khabibi, you are. You are messenger of Allah. In truth, I'm not lying. I swear by zucchini. I swear by fig. I swear by olive tree. And then, where upon this, his heart would become quiet. If I'm so comfortable now. I mean, imagine this action. Almost the prophet, he jumped. I mean, I wish Jibreel, he was late for two minutes in the, in the traffic. Bad luck. By the way, I wanted to try this. But I'm trying to find where I can find a mountain. I want to see. I want to. Why? Why Jibreel appear only in front of Muhammad? What about the rest of those people who try to commit suicide? If you read the story here, it's confirming that Muhammad he tried to commit suicide because he himself don't believe he's a prophet. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? This is what the story is saying. Muhammad, why he stopped killing himself? Because the angel says to him, truly you are a prophet. Don't text me, guys, unless you are a Muslim. Please, in Skype. Like, I'm getting high every two seconds. I mean, what I would do with your high? Hi, hello. Okay, so why you are why you are texting me? There's three billion Christians. Are you going to text me, all of you? You will you will you 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 will do to me what happened to me as an Arab first time I went to the movie. Do you know what happened to me first time I went to the movie as an Arab? I went to the movie and we as an Arab we have to say assalamu alaikum and shake hands with everybody. By the time I finished saying assalamu alaikum shaking hands, the movie was over. So what do you want me to do now? Spend the day saying to you hi, hello in Skype. But come on. Now you notice here. That Muhammad want to kill himself for the reason which he don't believe that he is a messenger of Allah. What do you say, Muslims? Am I lying? Hello? Hello, it's me you're looking for. My name is Jibreel. You can find me everywhere, even in the top of the high mountain, especially if you are a prophet and you try to commit suicide. Call me at my phone number, 1-800-JIB-REAL. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Um. I think I got the wrong number. No, it's not the wrong number. Um, I thought this is the number of Jibreel. Yes, I'm his girlfriend. Oh, okay. Uh, can I talk to Mr. Jibreel? He is busy in a mission in the top of the mountain. He is trying to save the ass of the Prophet. Do you know which mountain? The one next to Mecca, you idiot. There's only one mountain there. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Please. Help him and tell him, please, Jibreel, come back because the food is ready. This is a story written in your book. Any Muslim? What's happening? I mean, just explain to us what's happening. I mean, why the prophet he want to kill himself? 
Sometimes I feel I want to kill myself. Like, you know, each time I ask a girl to marry me, she said to me, like, what? There's no man left in this earth. Hello. And then I said to myself, let me go to the top of the high mountain. And I climb and I climb and I climb and I jump. And then later I found out it was a chair in my bedroom. I mean, sometimes I imagine things like the prophet. The prophet, he used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. So don't laugh at my chair. I thought it's a mountain. So you are saying to me, you have a prophet. He want to kill himself because he don't believe he's a prophet? If the prophet do not believe he's a prophet, why I should believe in him? Huh? Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call? Mayday, mayday. Mayday. You know, I'm not. Why you, Why the Muslims get upset from me? I'm reading your book. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari. Are you going to tell me this is this Da'if Hadith? You are the one is Da'if, my friend. This is very strong. Now I understand why Muslims are so upset with my books. Hmm. Christian Prince, your books is full of lies. Really? Why? Christian Prince, ZB, all your books is a bunch of lies. Really? Christian Prince, you are a liar. Really? And after all, what the names they call me until now Christian Prince did not try to commit suicide like the Prophet So why the Prophet he tried to commit suicide who is going to explain to us? What happened? What happened? Hmm? Any Muslim? I'm really disappointed. I thought, I thought now we will find many Muslims who will call us and they will be so happy. And by the way, I will speak to you nicely. Don't be rude. Don't call me names. You know, you are more than welcome. Uh, I don't want to remind you guys that we have a website you can subscribe to. This is like a, a, a backup a channel. It's called minds.com. It costs you no money. It's for free. Just subscribe there. All right. And always you will find the link which is missing for videos maybe I took off. Just subscribe there so you will find them. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Today I feel like um, I'm a homeless. No Muslim want to call me. Hmm? By the way, minds.com is not suitable for Muslims. I'm just warning you. Because as you see, you have to use your mind. And that is not right. It's haram. I think you have to agree. A Muslim using his mind? I mean, that's haram, my friend. Haram. What minds? Here we go. The prophet himself is losing his mind. Muslims, did your prophet lose his mind in this case here? Hmm? Anyone? And you know what makes the story more funny? You will notice that every time it says, it says, guys, this is not my words, and this is not my translation. This is the translation made by Muhammad Ahmad Ali Mustafa Abdul Muhammad Hussein Ahmad Muhammad. So don't tell me this is my translation. It says, and every time 
he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself hold on hold on hold on what do you mean every time what do you mean every time how many how many times this guy he tried to do that and every time Every time, what, there's a song. It's called "What." Uh, I will be watching you. Every step you take, every walk you make, I will be watching you. This is, a, I think, this is the song of Jibril. He was saying that to Muhammad. Every step you take, every move you make, I will be watching you. Hello. Every time the prophet he went to throw himself from the top of the high mountain. Okay, how many times the prophet he tried to do that? What's wrong with this guy? Look like he like it. Muhammad, he want to kill himself. He go to the top of the mountain. The angel of Jibreel held him from his panty. He says to him, In truth, you are the prophet. Muhammad, he relaxed. Siri, are you serious? I'm prophet, really? Okay, I'll go home now. Okay, second day he come back again. I'm what's wrong with this prophet? Isn't it enough once? First time, second time, third time. What's happening? Are you a Muslim? The one is trying to call. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Anyone? Stop lying, CB. He says, CB is lying, guys. I'm reading your book. What lying? <laughs> a Muslim saying to me, you have no life. Do you? Do you have a life, a person who follow a prophet, who want to commit suicide many times? Obviously, himself, you have no life too, to the point you want to commit suicide. Why you don't call me, Mr. You have no life? Call. You have no life actually it's you who have no life to the point you are going all the way to Skype adding my name texting me insulting me because you have no life if you have a life you go and watch TV why you preserve time from your life to respond to someone have no life that's philosophy by the way that's deep you have no life as if he does all what you talk about is Islam not your religion so does that mean your prophet he have no life too because all what he talk attacking Christianity you must times five times a day you say Allah please don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews obviously you have no life based on your logic the first thing in the morning before you clean your ass you say Allah please please Allah Allah please don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews hmm? what a potato salad you are let your dad talk to me don't text me again either you call or I have no time for kids Abdul Hello 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 Jibril Min fadlak ya ayni Atini Abdul Dakhlak al khat shwai Jibril Hello 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 Jibril I mean, what is that, man? The prophet himself, he don't believe is a prophet. The prophet himself, he jump, he go to the top of the high mountain 
I mean, imagine you have a son like this. He want to commit suicide because he don't believe that he is your son. He goes to the mountain, the mountain, okay, and then you say to him, son, 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 trust me, you are my son. I am the one who slept with your mother. Really? Yes, I am. You know, this is why you look an idiot like me. Look at you. You have my eyes. Look at you. Huh? Look at you. Look at your nose. Look at your nose. How funny it is. Big nose. I thought my nose is big because I dig for a burger. This is additional reason too. And But both of us, we inherit that from me too. So who is the Muslim when I tell me why the prophet, he want to kill himself and he don't believe as a prophet? Do you know why the Muslims are scared to call me? Because their brain processor is so slow. And they knew that my brain processor is so fast. Like the Kernaik. A brother Titter. The other person is named the Korean Brint. And he all would make fun of Islam. First of all, that guy is a big fat liar. Once I get him butted, and he said that the Prophet, he said that every Muslim is going to have 70 year orgasm. First of all, it is not 70 year orgasm. It is 69 years and 365 days. And this is the truth. It is not 70 years, it's 69 years and 365 days. Absolutely. And this is the clear proof that Christian Prince, he corrupt the scriptures and he tried to fabricate stories. But, but brothers, 69 years and 365 days is 70 years. Absolutely false. And I will prove it to you. When you have a new year evening, the fact that night start a new year. Which means 71 years. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, uh, you got a point there. Uh huh, okay. Obviously, Christian priest is a liar. You get him busted, brother. Any Abdul? <clears throat> 70 years orgasm only. So I go to visit Yosef Ali. I knock at his door. Yosef Ali is busy. <laughs> Uh, you say, what are you doing? I'm having orgasm. You did leave me alone. I came back next year, the year after, five years after, 10 years after, 20 years after, 50, 60, 70 years orgasm. Alhamdulillah, the God of orgasm. No God can give us such a thing except Allah, 70 years, which is making me so upset because I like to go and enter the book of Genesis to have 80 years orgasm. I mean, it's not fair. If all of us, we are the same. I mean, how I can enter the book of Genesis? I want to have 80 years. Only 70 years. Hey, brother, 70 years orgasm and your sperm is coming running like a river or what? I mean, shouldn't we have a flood of Noah by sperm? 70 years orgasm, all the Muslims have in 70 years orgasm. Do you have it all together in the same time or like in stages? Any Abdul? I'm calling, but he is not picking up, James. Hey, no, I blocked you already because, okay, let us see, James, let us, let us see. I blocked you because you were texting, you are not calling. You are a liar. Let me go to preference and unblock you. And I will call you myself, James. You are being honored now. James, a guy, his name is James. James Kufta, James Shish Kebab, James Humwas. Let us see James. This one, James. This not. Where is James? Uh, 
ג'ו גלו, ג'יי גלו, I don't find your name, where is your name? What, your, what was your name in, uh, in Skype? Uh, James, James, uh, James Stevens, is that you? You call yourself Jesus and James Stevens? Is that you? Okay. Call me now. All right, guys, we have a uh, we have a Muslim hero. His name is James Stephen. Yes, Abdul. <laughs> إن ما الله إله واحد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون وإن الله ربي وربكم فاعبدوه هذا صراط مستقيم Very beautiful voice Very be I'm sure many people will convert to Islam what the heck was that? I'm really convinced. Let me let me play it again. I cannot I cannot resist this beauty. Hold on, hold on. Finally, we have the Quran recited in a true voice, in a true manner. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back in the video. I will play the video again. The guy he called me a second ago, a minute ago. Let us go here and see if we can play it. Igalo. Uh, Okay, hold on. I don't find your name. Where is your name? Okay, hold on, guys. He will, he will sing now. What your what was your name in uh, in I'm Skype? Trying, I'm just trying to. Uh, James James uh, James Stevens. Is that you? You call yourself James James Stevens. Is that you? Okay, guys. I will make you hear now the most beautiful recitation for the Quran. Please hold your heart. Feel your the I mean this is so beautiful. I don't know. There's no words can express how beautiful it is. Unbelievable. Call me now. All right, guys. We have a uh, we have a Muslim hero. His name is James Stephen. Yes, Abdul. لا تقولوا ثلاثة إنه خير لكم إنما الله إله واحد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون وإن الله ربي وربكم فاعبدوه هذا صراط مستقيم. Brother, I need to go to the bathroom. Hold on. Seriously, this is, I mean, I'm convinced now. Hold on. Finally, thank you for help. It wasn't going for two days. Now it was like it was a release. <laughs>
He's calling again. You are calling again. You want to sing again? Go ahead. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءَ وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ قَالَ إِنِّي أَعْلَمُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال فقال أنبئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين قالوا سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم قال يا آدم أنبئهم بأسمائهم فلما أنبأهم بأسمائهم قال لم أقل لكم إني إني أعلم ما لا تعلمون إني أعلم ما لا تعلمون Don't stop. Why you stop? والله الذي لا إله إلا هو لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة والرحمن الرحيم يا كريستن هينز إن الله ربي وربك إن الله ربي ورب النصارى وإن الله ربي ورب اليهود ولا إله إلا هو خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق وخلق نفسه بالحق وهو قال في القرآن الكريم في القرآن الكريم لسنا عبدول 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 How your God is my God but your God he think that the sperm of the women have a sperm and coming from her ribs what about that يا جاهل يا جاهل answer إن الله ربي don't tell me don't tell me you are ignorant you answer what kind of God he think women have a sperm and it's coming from the location of her ribs I want you to answer stop singing what kind of God you think the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs Abdul why your God is not God can you tell us or you are going to sing for us again and again whatever Allah says is true Okay, so you believe that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, the location of the necklace? You agree with Allah? If Allah says anything comes from anywhere, you have to find okay, it. So it you, is so true. So you agree. And nobody okay. can be okay. the creation of Allah. Okay. Indeed, okay. Allah created your eyes, you unselfish, you selfish little young man. Okay, my friend. So you agree with Allah that your mother, she have a breast testicles. Okay. Allah created everything, so Allah created everything. You have no, you have no knowledge to say anything you want. Allah created everything. You turned your back on Him and you worship the slave of Allah, the Messiah. So go to the slave. I want the answer. Do you believe that your mother she have a breast testicle? Please say yes. Do you really believe in what is written in the Quran that your mother she have a breast testicles? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That means they have she have balls. Your mother she have balls, but it's they are in her ribs, in her chest. She don't have a breast. The himar, the himar, the himar, the donkey. Don't call Shut me donkey. Last year, the prophet, the prophet, he married a woman. Her last name is donkey. So why you are calling me donkey? Are you insulting Zainab now? Is it true? You are wife, a donkey. Isn't it true? The wife of the prophet, her name is donkey. Last name Zainab went to Jahsh. The Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. Why, why you are calling me donkey? Evil. If a donkey is an insult, the prophet was, why the prophet he married the a woman? Sent her last Arabs, name is donkey. And you betrayed the prophet. No, hold on. I want an answer. Why you we keep running like like a monkey? Okay, now let's go back. Why the prophet he says that your mother she have balls in her chest if he is God? Why you hang up? Hello, I like your singing. I love it. So what we learn from you that Muslim they can sing the Quran, but they cannot explain the Quran. Hello. Hello.
Are you there? If you don't talk, I will hang up on you. Are you there? All right. Hello? Yeah, locally. Yes, I do hear you. Go ahead. Hello, Princess. Yes, my friend. How I can help you? Yeah, I heard your argument about um, basically the sperm coming from the um, from the back, from the, was the chest on the back or something? Well, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Right, so the scholars, um, they, they said there's no contradiction between this. And they said that uh, in the Quran, when it says that, um, it says that sperm originates from the mid gut uh, section of a uh, man's body, uh, uh, and then it says that chest and back indicates towards the complete body. So they, what they're saying is, when when Allah is talking about the chest and the back, it comes from there. Uh, it's talking about the complete body, uh, and this is completely complete understood complete by what, what, what Scott mentioned in his commentary of the verse. Complete body, uh, of who? complete body of who? Oh, human. What? No, it says the the rib is the location of the necklace of the woman. It's something you use for women only. So between the backbone of the man and the tarab, which is the location of the necklace of the women. So what so, what, what whole body? What so, whole body? So, oh, so when, you me, when you say to me the scar, who is the scars? Who are the those scars? Um there's one scholar, a particular scholar that, scholar, um, that scholar said he, this. He wrote um, an this article, is, okay, is he is he a scholar who is in, exists in our time and he wrote this article yesterday? This is a scholar. Here we go. This is your so, scholar. No, no, it's past. It's a past um, scholar. He passed away when? When he passed away? I feel sorry for him when he passed away. Even last hundred years or something. Ah, uh, last, last what? Hundred years. Okay, can you give or something like that? Can you give me his name? The one who passed away last hundred years in this scholar. Yeah, Mola Ashraf Ali Tanmi. Okay, give me his link so we can love together. Now, I want, I want you. I want you to give me a promise. That you will take your scholar, the one you like, the one who passed uh, uh, passed away a hundred years ago, over who anyone else. Do you agree? Take him over anyone else. Yes. Which means if I show you anyone else says something disagree with him, you will not believe anyone else. You will be only the scholar. Um, you promise me. I think I think from different scholars according to no, according no, no, to no. different scholars yeah. they don't agree. Here we go, Ibn Kathir in front of us on the screen. He says this is not true. So I'm asking you, do you promise me you will not accept any other opinion except that opinion? Because you are the one who's giving this opinion. So do you consider it as the truth or do you consider Ibn Kathir and the others? I consider all of them as the truth. So Ibn Kathir here, okay, Ibn Kathir is saying no. Ibn Kathir is saying that the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, specifically in Arabic, it says actually the location of the necklace. So, which one you agree? You cannot say both because they don't agree. The guy you gave me his name he is saying that it is for one body of one human being, and that is the man. But this is not what the Quran is saying, and this is what is meant according to many scholars. So, this is this is commentary that I take. The, the, the you know, it's, it's, you can easily. Um, that's one of the commentaries you can you know my take. Friend, my friend, I want you to tell me which is the real understanding, the scholar you gave me or the other of the scholars. Which one you you, you accept to be the real? Don't, don't let us play, you know, honest for a second. I mean, can't you tell me which one is the guaranteed for you, and you will not believe in anything else? Why? What, what's your what's your step? Uh, next step after that. You are scared, right? You are scared from the next step. This well, I'm, I'm curious. I'm what curious. What's your, what are you going to lead me, on from give that? Give me the honest answer. I want you to give me a final answer. And you say to me, anyone disagree with that, he's a stupid. Give me an answer. Give me your answer. I don't care how you give it to me. Give me an answer. So are you saying to me that the one who believe that this is about the sperm of the women coming from their ribs and a sperm coming from the women and a sperm coming from the man, he is a stupid. Do you say, are you saying that? No, it is calling get mis misunderstanding. No, so. what misunderstanding? Oh, so you are saying he have misunderstanding. So are you saying your prophet he have a misunderstanding? So when did the prophet say that? So no, I want you to confirm. You just said everybody heard you. This is a misunderstanding. Guys, did he say that? Because after two minutes from now, he will swallow it and he will say, I did not say that. 
So I want you to no, confirm no, no, that the one who no, 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 don't play games, don't play games. You see, that's why you are saying to me what next step, what next step, because you are scared, you're terrified. You know, Christian prince, you don't ask questions unless there's something to come after it. And there's yeah, a big princess, attack. calm down, princess. So you are the princess, not me. Now, answer, you just talk about said, your own God. This is a misunderstanding. You're, you're, are you you're insult, not focusing on other are people's religion. You insulting your prophet. Yeah, princess, what are you insulting? You are trying to insult me to hang up on you. I will not hang up. Are you sure, princess? <laughs> you see, here we go. You are insulting me because you are upset. You want me to hang up so you can run away. You, Abdul, just, Abdul. you just insulted your prophet and you made your prophet look like a joke. And now your yeah, prophet, Abdul. your prophet, because of you, are you hiding, Abdul? Because, 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 because of you, why don't you continue like a uh, platform like speakers calling and because, because, people shut up, who shut up, are more knowledgeable? Shut up, shut, son of a muta. <laughs> now I will hang up on you. I got what I want. You just admitted that your prophet is a donkey. Do you see it? You're a prophet explaining the gashing fluid. You try to say to us that a scholar you agree with and anyone he have different opinion, he have a misunderstanding. So Muhammad, he have a misunderstanding. Your prophet is a fool, according to you. And this is Sahih. So he was trying to insult me as much as he can. So I will hang up on him and he start talking over me. So I will hang up on him because, uh oh, the spanking is coming. Let us run away. You lie when you say, oh, this is about the whole body of the man. The sperm coming from the whole body of the man. You are right. I will show you Arazi. Arazi, he says, even it come from the brain. <laughs> Hey singer, how are you? Hey, how are you? Okay, do you want to answer why your prophet he says that the women she have a sperm and her sperm coming from her nipples? First of all, could I ask you a question, please? No, you answer the question first, then you can ask me a question. Could please. you could you translate the thing I read for you before, please, later on? We sure. I I promise you. I promise you. Thanks. And I I swear by the fig, I would do. Okay. By way, by the way, why Allah swear by the fig? Allah swears by anything he wants. Okay. Do he swear my by shoes? Don't go that low, brother. You what, so, are... so fake. Why he swear by fake? I want you to answer. You said to me he swear by anything he want. I can swear by anything I want. Can you swear Allah by fake swear, too? Allah swears are by the world, the universe, okay, go, the heavens. Allah Sharia, swears by the light. On, everything on, Allah swears on, by on, he wants hold, to. Hold on. When you go to Sharia court, you swear by fake or you swear by Allah? Alhamdulillah. No, no, I'm asking you, don't tell me Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What is the answer? When you go to the court, when you go, Allah. when you go to the court, do you swear by Allah or you swear by fake? If Alhamdulillah, you, we swear by Allah. You don't, okay, so you swear by Allah. That's mean that God, you, you swear by Allah because why? Because he's God? Allah is Alhamdulillah, the Almighty why God you swear who created by Allah? us. Stop repeating. Why you swear by Allah? Okay, because he's the creator according to you. Okay, thank you very much. So guys, he Allah, Allah, he swear by, by uh, he, this guy, he swear by Allah because Allah is the creator. So when Allah, he swear by fig, does that mean that fig is the creator of Allah? No, 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 no. So why he swear by the, you, you are the one who said to me, you swear by Allah because he's the creator, the one who he created. Says there is nothing on top okay. of Allah. Well, then you tell me why Allah, he swear by the fig. Because there is nothing on top of him, he can swear by. What do you mean? This is uh, so you are saying? Oh, be, because there's nothing in top of him, so he swear by fake. I mean, you are. I'm convinced. Brother, have you have you read your own Bible? Don't don't tell me I read. No, I did not read the Bible, my brother. What he Bible? swears by the water. No, 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 no. You can you can show me the verse and we, we and we will read together. And now answer why Allah he read he swear by the fake. What is what is specific about the fake? There are, I don't know. It's up to Allah. I okay. can't answer the wrong story. You, are you saying to us that your God Allah He worship figs? I'm sorry, Allah. I can't answer that. Why you cannot? Because I have no knowledge. I don't speak of something I have no knowledge you don't of. Have sorry. Any degree in fig or anything like that? Did you go to the fig school or in a fig university? Oh, I'm sorry. But can you translate okay, the verse? Okay, I okay, you we, go back, we go back to our topic. As long as you admit you cannot answer that. Why your God He says? That women she have a sperm and her sperm coming from her breast, the location of the necklace. What kind of God he says that? Oh, oh, I'm not a doctor, sorry, brother. I'm not a doctor too. But according to your prophet, 
women she have a sperm listen okay listen i'll answer you i'll answer you mm. please listen okay i'm listening if allah says that the sky is a physical thing it is a physical thing whatever allah says according to the muslims around the world is 100 percent true Allah told us how you create a baby inside the woman's stomach. Nobody else in history has ever done that until today. How the baby is created in the stomach? In the baby is the baby is created in the stomach. And that's last time I, I I thought the baby is created in the liver, in the stomach. Read the Quran. Read the Quran. The Quran is funny. The Quran. Here we go. This is the Quran. Your prophet saying, your God saying that the baby is created in the following way. There's a sperm of the woman coming from the ribs. Of the women especially location of the of the necklace and there is a sperm of the man coming from the backbone and those are both are wrong so what do you mean i agree, listen, with, you. Listen, listen, I, I agree listen. with you you say that nobody explained it in listen, such a way please, before please, listen. are you listening go ahead i am warning you are you warning me okay i'm, I'm scared I'm now. Warning. Okay. you know what i am warning you okay warn me listen to this okay i'm listening okay I give them a short time. What Indeed, my punishment is severe. What KD mean? What KD mean? What KD mean? Does that mean Allah is deceiver? No. You said to me, in the, in the KD Mateen, you are the one who said to me a second ago, in the KD Mateen, everybody heard you. You cannot take it back. I swear by the fig, you said that. I swear by the fig. Now, did you say the word KD? KD mean deception. Why your God, Allah, is saying to me, in the KD Mateen, my deception is strong? No, read the verse. Reading what? Answer me. Your what? translation why is wrong. Saying, why you are saying to me that in the KD Mateen, my deception is strong? Uh, I'm sorry, bro. You have no knowledge of Arabic. I'm uh, sorry. My friend, no, I can approve it for you. We are Arab here, brother. You are not an Arab. You are a Somalian boy. Somali boy? Yes, you are not an Arab. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic? Yes. Mean I mean I mean Egypt mean Mr. Oh mean speak to me in Saoud. Arabic, you are not an Arab, you are a liar. Speak to me in Arabic. Go in ahead. I, in speak, I, mean speak, to me, mean speak to me in Arabic. Let us let us laugh. Are you Arab? Yeah, are you Arab? Speak to me in Arabic. This is not Arabic. Where is the Arabic? Speak to me in Arabic. I'm going to say something to you, you translate. Is that okay? Hadi Liflu Jancha Jangelus. What I said. Hadi Liflu Jancha Jalus. You are you are the Himar and Muhammad is married to a woman. Her last name is Himar. Why are you calling me Himar? You are not an Arab, you don't speak Arabic and you are a liar. Now let's go back. You said that Allah He taught us how the baby is created. Mm. Okay, I want to ask you if the man have orgasm first, the baby will look like the parents. If the women have orgasm first, I mean the father. If the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a female. Do you agree with that? Listen, I'll tell you. Would you listen to me answer? Yes, go ahead. According to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he said that the baby will come out and it will resemble the one who had the orgasm first. Okay. So, 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 do you look like your father? I oh, know. You don't talk like the father. Obviously, obviously, your father is not your father then, because you just admit. No, I am. No, no, I am no, 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 you just admit it. You just admit it that the one who have. Allah, hey, I haven't seen my parents in eighteen on, years. Well, I don't you know that. I'm sorry. Hold on, you just admitted that your father is not your father. Your mother is sleeping with somebody else because you are the one who said if the man have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the the father, which means he will be a male and he will look like his father, and you don't look like your father. So obviously, your father is not the one who slept with your mother. Christian friends, let me tell you, this is from my heart. Don't I am me, telling you, I haven't seen my parents in a very 18 to 20 years. I'm wallahi, I am very, I'm a doctor. You are the one who just said you don't look like your father, and you are the one who says to me, if a man have orgasm first, the, the, the baby will resemble the man. So but how do you know I don't look like my father? I don't even know. You just said that to me. I asked you, do you look like your father? You said no. Allah did not say that, brother. Uh, maybe I got you wrong then. Okay, so you look like your yeah. father? I've seen pictures of my mother. I look more okay. like my mother. You look like this is what I'm saying. So obviously, it's not it's, it, it, this. Your father is not your father because according to your prophet, you just confirmed that your prophet is lying because you just said you look like your mother. And the prophet, by what he meant here, that your child will resemble the father, which means he will be a male and he will look like a father. Not only he will look as a face, he will be a male. 
and he will resemble the man which is your father and you just said you don't no, know no, this father. one says which of, of them comes first so whoever orgasm first yes whoever of them comes first that's the man does not orgasm for the moving it depends yes yes my friend whoever comes first he will resemble the man and he will be a male and he will be looking like the father and you just said no he will be looking like the one who orgasms and said if the mother yes, orgasms yes, and says yes, i will yes, look correct. like the mother he will be a male he will be a male that's why he's explained why the male is a male and female is a female not only you will look like the, the father you will be a male to be to look like your father you will be a male and i can show different he says it clearly that he is going at the i'm looking i'm male. looking at the hadith now in front it says whoever um orgasms first or comes first that is what the baby is going to look like a mother can come first before the father you know that right okay so uh, so are you saying that your prophet did not say he he is saying that it's going to be male listen if the prophet of allah said that the sky is yellow the sky is yellow no no i'm asking you did your prophet says he will be a male yes or no i don't see it on written here i don't know i have no only okay if i show it to you what you will do are you going to make fun of your prophet if you show it to me, I will accept it. 100%. Okay, so that so, means you are not the son of your father. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay. Al Arab, he is a prophet. You can, listen, Somalian boy, you are not the son of your father according to your prophet. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? To be honest, I haven't seen my father in 18 years. I don't know. Sorry, what? Um, wallahi, I am adopted brother. I am adopted. I haven't seen my family in 18 years. I wish I could see my father, but okay, I can't. I, I, I'm sorry for that, my friend, but this is not, the, not my, my case now. I'm just we are talking about Islam, about not your family. I don't mean to uh, to insult you or to harm you. So I'm asking you, what kind of a prophet he says such a thing? So what? What kind of a prophet he says such a funny thing? If he is speaking What's of funny? Allah. Well, he, he, everything he's saying is about the baby is wrong. Women have an orgasm first, have nothing to do how the baby look like. How do you know? Well, all Muslim women, they don't have orgasm. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Muslim women don't I have, have orgasm what? because you do circumcision for them. How they will have orgasm? You cut it. No, 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 no. no you you got it wrong. Okay, let me ask you. Did the prophet wife have orgasm? I'm sorry, I can't be knowledge on this, okay. but the Prophet okay. 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 he nodded his wives and he enjoyed his wives. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. Here we go. This is the Prophet wife. She never have orgasm, and she is saying that. What do you say? Hmm? What do you say? I just want to read it. Really? And this is your Muslim. You, you said you speak Arabic, right? Read it for us. Go ahead. Let us see your Arabic. I can't see it. No, you can see it now. Go ahead. Now, we're going to read it. Okay, go ahead. Go a little bit up. Read, read this part here. It says, here, read this part. I highlighted for I you. I can't see it. Well, I can't see it. Well, look at the top. Oh, no, no, no. Here? فَقُلْتُ فَضَحْتِ النِّسَاءِ وَهَلْ تَحْتِلِمُ الْمَرْأَةُ قَالَ النَّبِيِّ صلى الله عليه وسلم So what she said to him? As long as you claim that you speak Arabic. <laughs> you don't know Arabic. Well, you are lying. So let us make it. You, you're a prophet wife. She said, "Do women have orgasm? Do women come? She never have come." Wallah, I cannot comment on the relationship with the prophet, but there is one thing I can comment on. Prophet, okay, this means your prophet he was not having sex with his wife. Obviously, somebody else. I, well, I can't comment. The prophet had many wives. I oh, can't comment on it. Okay, I'm sorry. No problem. But obviously, this is his wife, and he is not doing a good job. You know, he need to see to, to Dubai some Viagra or something. No. Alhamdulillah, Allah has given the prophet okay, all the wives he wanted. Back, Alhamdulillah. And the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said okay. he said Allah has chosen some wives for me. Alhamdulillah. What uh, uh, Allah? What? 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 Allah has given the wives all the prophet all the all the prophet all the wives he wanted alhamdulillah Allah he gave him all the wives Allah married the prophet the wives of the prophet to him So right. Muhammad he did not marry women it was Allah who married them to him What 
it was like Allah he was like he was a dating website and Allah he is the one who sent him the women no listen hmm. there are mothers um, there are mothers hmm. okay your mothers so Aisha when Allah he sent Aisha to Muhammad at the age of six years old why Allah he recommended Aisha to be in his bed well, do you know what Aisha has done for Islam? What she, what she done? What she done? She made a war against Ali and Aisha. Aisha let us know everything about the Prophet Sallallahu in his house. Like what? Everything like, we like did what? not know privately. She told us. She explained to us everything you have to do when you enjoy your wife. She explained to us everything you have to do in the middle of the night when you want to pray. She she explained to us everything about the private life of the Prophet Sallallahu hmm. And I promise you. There is not a single woman on this earth except the, except Maria alayhi salam. That is like Aisha alayhi salam. Nobody. Okay, I want you to read this for me. Here we go. Aisha is reporting what is inside the house. Um, read it. One of the words the Prophet's apostle joined him in a tikaf. And she noticed blood and yellow was discharged from her fiber parts and she did under her when she prayed. Hmm. Okay. Okay, why the prophet wife she is reporting what is coming from her vagina or the vagina of Allah, I cannot I cannot come and say I have no knowledge. No, no you this. are the one who's saying she report to us things nobody knows. Here we go. This is what she reports to us. Prince. Christian Prince. No, don't tell me Christian Prince. I want to know what kind of a woman she report what is coming from her vagina or the vagina of a woman Christian in the Prince. house of her okay. husband. Well, say something you can say but I want an answer why she is Aisha, reporting. Aisha, is Aisha, yeah, Aisha. Or, what is the Everybody benefit for the hates on Aisha listen listen, but listen I am telling listen, you stop stopping games why the wife of the Prophet if she had dignity do you like your wife to come to our chat here and she called us and she says yesterday there's a, Allah, there's a yellowish there's a yellowish liquid coming in from my vagina do you appreciate your wife saying that? I can't. I can't, I can't come because I have no, no you know Muslims, we can't come no, you can't we comment, have no knowledge ago, you were proud about Aisha, now you don't, cannot comment, you need to comment, because this is the, they said this is your mother, explain to me why your mother is giving us a full report with two extra details of what is coming of her vagina. I can't comment. I don't even know. I can't comment. I'm sorry, no, but cannot. there is one thing I can comment Muslim, on. Not me. If you, if you cannot comment, who will comment then? Al -ulama. Okay, Al -ulama. so what did what does that mean? What the ulama said to you? You never ask any of them about this, brother. We did not come with we, we okay. only question what, what looks like something to question the okay. ulama, whatever now, they're saying. We take it, alhamdulillah. Asha, she reports for us that a woman she came to the prophet, and there's a guy he is looking at her in a dirty way. And the prophet he said to her, Suckle him. The woman she said, How I'm going to suckle him, and he is a grown man. What do you think about the story of Aisha? And after that, Aisha, she ordered her sisters to suckle anyone want to enter upon her. What do you say about that? If it is 100 of the same Sahih, it is which sahih. I do not say it, is, it is Sahih, brother. It's Sahih. So what do you say about that? Alhamdulillah. Your prophet wife, if I want to go to enter upon her, I have to suck the nipples of her sister or the nipples of her nieces who they are women. Why is that? Allah I don't, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Are you too proud? Most time you sing for me Quran, you are so proud, and suddenly you do not know. So you only are proud no, of the Quran. Let me tell you no, something. No, you need to tell us why, what kind of religion I cannot meet a woman. Imagine I go into a company and there's a woman I want to meet. In order to meet her, I have to suck the nipples of her nieces. Or the nipples of her sisters, and I have to suck them ten different times in ten different days. Why is that? Let me tell you something. Islam is more than just reading a little book on East on well, Google. Islam is more stupid than I agree. It's the most stupid. Let me let me, let me let me say something. Yes, but still, please. you cannot answer. Islam is so stupid to the point you are running away from answering. What kind of a no no? I'm not running okay, away. I just want to ask you one let, question. Let me, let me tell you. Is it ethical? To your wife to give her nipples with my respect to your wife i'm not insulting i'm asking a question about religion is it ethical for you it's okay for you that if I'm, i want to see your wife she have or to see you or to come to your house she your wife with my respect to her she have to let me sit in her lap and then i will suck her breast and i have to do it in 10 different days 
until I am satisfied. Is that ethical for you? Brother, to be honest with you, I don't know the context of this. I don't care about the context. There is no way you are a Muslim who recite the Quran for me. You never heard that of before. Okay, okay. You are being hypocrite now. There's no way. Are you saying to me? You are right. You are right. Wallahi, you are right. Are you saying to me? I am very, I am very unknowledgeable about okay, my deen. Wallahi, to make, to make me believe you. that you are telling the truth, swear by the faith. Wallahi, I am. No, swear by the faith. I don't believe. I do not know. Swear by Allah. I could learn my deen. No, 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 no. Swear by something higher than Allah. Allah Himself is swear by the faith. You swear by the faith. Uh, swear by the faith. I don't. Ta'araf. You know yourself swear that Allah fig, is Allah. Swear you know. by the fig, I believe you. Say, I swear by the holy fig that I do not know. You know Allah is the only God. That's why you always try to well, study Allah me. is the only God. He teach you that your wife, she have to suckle everybody in the bus in order for the men to get in. You never, you what never ever God? talk about your this, own this God, the, the Messiah. The never. God, this is the God of the hippie, my friend. Your God is a hippie from California. Your God is a lousy. Your God is a hippie. Okay, is a you, can you translate the thing I read for you before, Listen, please? Listen, uh, yeah, I will uh, translate. Will go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want? Are you sure you want to translate ولا, what you said to me? ولا انتهو خير لكم. Hmm. Okay, what does that mean? Surah Al-Nisa. ولا تقولوا ثلاثة. Do not say three. Oh. انتهو خير لكم. Okay. If you get away, it is better for you. So why Allah? Why Allah? And Allah, he keeps saying uh, uh, three. Inna Allah. Okay. Why? Why you Muslims? Why you Muslims? Why you Muslims? You keep saying three in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Why you cannot recite your Quran without saying three names? Why Allah? He in, uh, he said Alif Lam Mim three. Who is Alif and who is Lam and who is Mim? Who is Allah, who is Ar-Rahman, who is Ar-Rahim? Why you Muslims, you cannot start your religion without saying three? Why you do ablution by three? Why you fast three? Why you take an oath, you repeat the oath three so times? So are Why? you admitting that you actually worship three gods? No, we don't worship three gods. It's you who follow three gods. There's no Christian believing. Three Wallahi, three gods. you worship There's three no gods. There's no Christian. Wallahi. You are a liar and you are a fool. And actually, even the Quran prove you wrong. Are you saying to me the Quran is a liar? Listen, prove it wrong. Are you saying to me that the Quran says that Christian believe in three gods? I'm asking you, are you saying the Quran that the Christians believe in three gods? Does the Quran say that? The Quran is telling you not to say three gods, yes. Okay, where it says that? Surah Nisa. The verse you gave me, it doesn't say that. Surah Nisa, go to Surah Nisa if you are real man. Let us go and see the chapter of Nisa. Give me the verse number so I will be sure that you are talking about the same verse. Go to the bottom, please go to the, the bottom. bottom. The bomb, okay. I will show you the verse. We'll travel to the go bottom. Go to the bomb, okay. Go to the bomb, okay. Here we go. This is the bomb, okay. What about the bomb? To the bottom, bottom of the Surah Nisa. Yeah, please. the bomb of the Surah Nisa. The bomb, it's not on the bomb, it's 171. What bomb? This is in the middle. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, you do not know even what verse. I know. You have no idea what verse you are talking about. No. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know the number of the okay, verse. No so. problem. I know, but you do not know. No problem. No. Show no, me. Where, show this me, is not the where, verse. This show is not me the where verse. It says. Show me where it says in the Arabic. Don't say there's a three gods. I want to see that. Okay. I am searching. Can you look at it, please? I can see the video. Can you look? It's in the front of you. Where it says, don't say three gods. Surah al Nisa and the ayah number is 171. <laughs> Where it says three gods. Wala taqulu thalatha. Okay, th th three what? Three Allah, three gods. W there's no Christian belief first in Allah. What do you think the Quran there's is no talking Christian about? You think the Quran is talking about skies? No, it doesn't say even in the verse that we believe in three gods. You are a liar. Yes, it does. Okay, okay, I okay, 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 okay. So the Christian they believe in three gods according to Islam. Who are they? Al Masih. And who? The Holy Ghost. And who? Allah himself. Okay, so the Quran is a book of lies because the Quran never mentioned that the Christians believe in the Holy Ghost. The Quran says that the Christian they believe in you Christian. yourself know you believe in three gods. There's no question about it. Up. The Quran says that we believe in Mary and the Isa and Allah. Why you are saying the Holy Ghost? 
No, no, that's some of you, not all of you. No, no, don't worry. It says that some of you are lie. the closest don't people lie, to the Muslims no, today no, on no, the no, earth no, when it comes no, to no, religion. No. Okay, but I promise okay. you that okay, you have left long, your path. As long as it is some of us, show us where in the Quran it says that the Christian they believe in the Holy Ghost as God. So you are saying the Quran saying some of the Christian believe in Mary as God and some they believe that the Holy Ghost is God. Is God. Show us where is the verse. Where is the verse? Where is the verse? It says that the Christian believe in the Holy Ghost. I have no knowledge of a verse, no but the Wala Taqulu Salata is talking about three Allahs, three gods busted. that you believe in. Let me get you busted. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse number 17. لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو الله مسيح ابن مريم نعم. so how we believe in three gods but yet we say Allah is the Messiah explain that to us. Lord whoever said Allah is the Messiah والله is lost. okay. لقد كفر الذين قالوا. so Allah is lost. Allah is lost. no whoever said the Messiah is Allah on this earth is Lord he got said and Allah is saying you have left you have disbelieved. hold on Abdul Mr Fig. You are the one who says to me that the Quran says in chapter of An-Nisa, one verse, verse 171, that those who say there's three Allah, they are false. But in this verse, it says that the Christian believe that Allah and the Messiah is one. Yes. So how they are three and they are one? No, look, it says... لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو مسيح ابن مريم. that is one that is one thing and then the other thing is ولا تقولوا ثلاثة. stop reporting I want to answer how one verse says don't say three and this verse says that the Messiah okay okay let me let okay let me answer now okay it doesn't matter if it is the ghost or Mary you still believe in three gods that is one hundred percent. I'm not going to waste it doesn't matter you see it doesn't matter it's not a question you idiot. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. What matter is, it is a contradiction. One verse saying, don't believe in three. And the other verse saying that the Christian believe that Allah is the Messiah. How they are three, but Allah is the Messiah, that make them one. Not a three. <laughs> so the only way for them to escape, they say, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You believe in three gods. No Christian believe in three gods and you are a liar like your prophet. Shame on you. Not a single Christian exists in this earth. Believe in three gods. If you go to the, the even we have the law, it's called the, the, the whole law of, uh, of Nicaea or Nikia. It says that uh, uh, our God is one. The first sentence, we believe in one God. This is the first sentence of the law of the Christians, of the belief. We believe in one God. Stop lying. And now you showed us stupidity in the Quran. Your God, Allah, do not know what the Christians believe. He think they worship Mary as God. Nobody in this earth worship Mary as God. You want to say to me the Catholic, they do? It's a lie. They don't. The Catholic believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. As simple as that. People are saying to me, your voice is so low in Skype. What I can do? I mean, Skype is controlling it. I have no control over it. Live with it. Stop sending me messages saying that your voice is low in Skype. I have no control of that. I have my microphone all the way to the end in Skype. Still is not working. What I will do? So do you see, guys, the stupidity of this cult? His prophet says women have a sperm coming from their ribs. He have no problem with that. It doesn't matter. Even a life, he says, even if he says the sky is is made from solid, I believe in that. Actually, your God, he said the sky is solid. That's why in the Quran he says, Yum sama. He hold the sky from falling down. And he hold this. He, uh, uh, Allah, he explained to us why. Why the birds don't fail? What make the birds not to fail? Science. Allah, He hold them. Why the bird don't fail in the sky? Because Allah is holding them. <laughs> I thought they are there because they have wings. 
according to your God, he is the one who is holding him from falling down. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? So don't call me and say they don't care, it doesn't matter, and don't lie. If you want to show us that the Christians believe in three gods, show us one verse and the Bible says we believe in three gods. You're a liar. Shame on you. But I am not expecting you to be honest. You're a Muslim. A Muslim and he's honest? That is a problem. Problem to Allah at least. And actually, that makes the Christians more convinced that we cannot trust a Muslim speaking either about his religion or his cult and our belief. For always he lie. No Christian believe in three gods. One God. We are the one who believe in one God, not you. When the Muslim, they say to us, we believe in one God. And then we ask them, who is your God? They don't know. So how you know that he is the one God you are speaking about, who is he? You do not know who is he. You do not know what his name means. You do not know where he's located. Your prophet never spoke to him. He never even heard his fault. And then your God, he speak, according to your prophet. And what he say? He says stupid things. Women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace. Man have a sperm coming from his bone, backbone. And people in the text, be careful. In this, in this, in our program here, we don't allow division between Christians. All of us, we are Christians. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox are Christians. Anyone who will play a dirty game, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Be careful. No games with a Christian prince. No mercy. We, the Christians, believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, I mean to that. I am not going to compromise. You see, I'm not going to win a debate lying, saying we believe in one God just to lie. I mean, how stupid that faith will be to lie to say we believe in one God when we don't. Our Bible is there. Our church is there. And everybody can ask any Christian. He says to you, we believe in one God. Now, the idea of one God, I find it, I find that when the Muslim he debate us about being having one God, it's very silly because, okay, you have one God, but your God is stupid. So you have a stupid God. He is one stupid idiot God. So what the benefit of that one God? There's people, they have a church. It's called the Church of Satan in San Francisco. They worship Satan and he is one. They believe in him as one God. So what? What if somebody is a Hindu or whatever? He believed in 1,000 God. And later we discover there is 1,000 God. So the number will not make any difference. The question is, is it exist? The one you worship or not? Correct? Do we agree, guys? The question is, is your God exist or not? Who care if... You worship one or ten. We don't care. Your God is one idiot God. He say idiot stupid things. So you can say as much as you want. Your God is one God, but you do not know how the baby is created. Obviously, he is an idiot God. And he doesn't exist. When a prophet he says, if a man have orgasm first, the baby will look like him. Obviously, he is a liar. You go right now and Google, Prophet Google, peace upon him. Ask how the baby resemble his parents. They will say to you that your prophet is an idiot.
and all of Islam is based on the Trinity. If we go right now in front of your eyes and I type in the Hadith search engine, I will do it in the front of you. If I type the word three, three times, what I will find? Read with me, Allah. Endless stories of Muhammad doing things only three times. Even Muhammad, when he enter a place, he say "Assalamu alaikum" three times. Ablution have to be done three times. Washing your nose have to be three times. Going to jihad, you have to say it three times. Do you see it? It is you who have obsession with the Trinity. Why you do it three times? The Muslim they confirm that their ablution is not accepted unless it is perfect. How we can make it perfect? By saying three words and doing it three times. You tell me why. You just admitted that perfection of holiness is in three time yet you don't believe in the trinity hmm? do you see it is that your prophet or my prophet what is that you have a madness with number three you open the Quran, the Muslims they pray, they say, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Why you say three times? What about and why Allah have 99 names? Even the numbers of your God, your God name is multiplies of number three, and it is multiply of the age of Jesus. Jesus, he lived in this earth 33 years. X3, 99. All of your religion is based on Trinity. But you say, say no Trinity. And even the verse you gave me in chapter 4, verse 171, confirm the Trinity. But because your God is ignorant, he did not notice. Let me show you how we can prove the Trinity in the Islamic way, not in the Christian way. From the same verse which is denying the Trinity. Here you will see the stupidity of the Quran author. How he got himself busted. This is the chapter he gave me. Which he do not even know the number. Muslims do not know where they can, they can find Quran. Christian prince have to find it for them. It says... And you know, maybe maybe you don't like this translation. I will I will take you to the most famous one, Yusuf Ali. Maybe you like Yusuf Ali more. You know, Yusuf Ali is a bigger donkey. Okay. Oh, people of the book, commit no ex 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 excess in your religion, nor say oh, of Allah, but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, is, between two brackets, no more than a messenger of Allah. Okay, so what he is? He's a messenger. What does that mean? He's a man. Okay. And he is his word. Okay. And he is a word which is sent down to Mary. So his word coming from where? From heaven. That's wonderful. Best word upon Mary. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. Jesus is a man, is a word, is a spirit proceeding from God. In your stupid Quran, Jesus is one, yet he is a three. Guys, did we get Allah busted? The same verse saying to us, say no trinity, is the same verse saying, three is one. It is possible to be three and one. And the example is Jesus the Christ. He is not only three in one, no, he is a man. And he is the word of God, and he is the spirit of God in the same time, according to the Quran. And not only that, it says proceeding from him, not created by him. Proceeding. That's your Quran. How one cannot be three? Ask Allah. He just said one can be three. 
according to your stupid book Jesus before he became a man or a messenger he was a word and that word sent down to Mary which means to earth so this word was in heaven or maybe you Muslim do not understand what the word bestowed mean the word of Allah is it a created all Muslim they say the word of Allah isn't a created so Jesus not a created because the word of God according to Islam is not a created where was the word of God before it come to earth it was in heaven when it came to earth what happened the word became a man that's exactly is a copy from John chapter 1 verse 1 and John chapter 1 verse 14 in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God and then the word became a flesh your silly prophet he just copying in the Bible without knowing Welcome to the universe of stupidity. Who is next? Who is the next cheese kebab? Yes, Abdul. Everything you are saying is wrong. What? Everything you are saying is wrong. Why is wrong? There's a say in the front of you that Jesus is I a man and he is the I word and he is a spirit in the same time. That doesn't mean he's an uncle, brother, and father. It means he is the word of Allah that came from him and is the messenger when he came on earth. Okay, let us take it one by one. The word of Allah came from where? From Allah. Okay, so where is Allah? Kun fayakun. No, no, no. This is not a question. Where is Allah? You said the word, he is the word of Allah. Where is Allah? Tisama, um. Okay, so Jesus, he was a word of Allah according to you, and yes. he was in the it's, sky it's, it's as a word. Hold on, one, one, by one by one, one by one, one by one. So let us write it down what you say to us. He was in heaven. We will make it, we will call it a sky. Okay, so in the sky, Jesus was in the sky, and then he sent down to earth. What happened when the word of Allah arrived to the earth? It went into Mary. What enter into Mary? Yes. Okay. So the word of Allah entered into Mary. How the word of Allah enter into Mary? Allah said D and it was. No, this is not what happened. No, my friend. Okay, okay. Well, we will go there. But how the word of Allah came? Allah, He said the word already. No problem. Now you said that the word enter into Mary. How the word enter into Mary? Allah breathed into Mary. Where He breathed? Into Mary. Okay, you just say the breathe, right? Yeah. Okay, I want you to hold yourself with this. You don't change your mind after two seconds. So, okay. Allah, He have a word, and the word was in heaven, and then He breathed His word into Mary. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Okay, where He breathed? I don't know where He breathed, but He breathed into Mary, meaning He put the baby inside her stomach. Okay, or oh, He put the baby inside her stomach. So yes. the breed of Allah was Jesus. Yes, Allah breathed Jesus. Okay, let me ask Mary. you now. Let, let, let me show you how silly what you just said. He also, oh, hold, he on, also hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is uh, did, uh, did Allah? Did Allah <laughs> says be and he was or he breathed? Spirit is different from don't don't don't, don't, change, the, don't change the topic. Did Allah created Jesus by saying be and he was or he breathed to create Jesus? What I've read in the Quran, it says he breathed into this her. This is not the question. I'm asking you. Be he and breathed he was, into her. Be and he was or he breathed? Because be and he was, there's no need to breathe. That's it. I said be he was. That's it. No, you that is said, a lie. That is just, a lie. You just said he breathed. Everybody heard you. Which one, of them, say, be which and he was, one, which one of them is the true? He breathed or he said be and he was? The Quran says he breathed. Okay. And, but you are the one who said to me in the Quran too that Allah he says be and he was you forgot 
said be any Allah okay. also said so how it can be, be both anyway. hold on how it can be both if Allah he said be and he was why he need to breathe no you don't understand brother he said be and it is and he breathed into her my friend he just said be so he is exist that's it there's no need to breathe why he breathe i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm mary was chosen i know you guys don't like that don't change the topic mary i don't care chosen. about mary if it changes on him that's not the topic now if allah he said to jesus be and he was why he need to breathe i can't answer I read the quran it's in the quran what do you mean you cannot answer you are the one who's trying to correct me and now you can i'm answer. telling you i'm What's telling wrong you with you, each time i ask breathe. you a question you say to me i cannot answer so you are the one who quote for me those verses and now you cannot answer the verses you quote for me i've been telling you the whole time <laughs> <he> <laughs> <says> <laughs> <breathe>. <laughs> then, so then answer how he say be and he was and then he breathe how is stupid that statement is because if he was, that's it. There's no need to do anything anymore. He was. So he and he be and he was. And then you say to me, and then he breathed. How stupid that statement is. Let your dad call me, okay? Can I answer? Let, let your, you can answer? Please. Please, can I answer? A second ago, you told me you do not know. No, I know what Allah said. Allah okay. breathed. Okay, okay. So Mary. Allah, he said, be and he was. So why he's, he breathed? I don't know if he said. I'm, okay, so I'm you do not know. Don't, don't, tell me, I, don't, tell me, don't tell me, let me answer. You don't Ooh. know how to answer. Let me answer. I let you answer. You had no answer. The stupidity of this cult is beyond imagination. They are like a barut. The second you ask a question, he don't know. If Allah created Jesus by saying be and he was why he need to breathe after that. That's it. He's, he's there And not only that The author of the Quran he made even a bigger poopoo -poo Because he cannot stop doing poopoo. -poo. I mean it's hop it Muhammad he said claiming that his God said as usual The following What a silly cult. In chapter 3, verse number 59, he said that the similarity between Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam. He created him from dust, and he said to him, Be and he was. But Jesus neither was from dust, and Adam was not created by saying, Be. The Quran confirmed. That Allah He created Adam by breathing, He make He fashion a fashion a, a, a mud. Let us see. <laughs> you know this idiot who made the Quran. He don't even remember what he said before. Don't don't call me now. Don't call me. Hold on. Let me show you how stupid the Quran is. Allah. Uh, Allah he created Adam in all those verses in front of us and in this verse Allah created Adam in stages he never said be read with me carefully and remember when Allah said to the to the angels I am a creating a human being from a block of a mud and then after I fashioned him I breathed into him where is the bee so first he brought mud mud mean you mix water with sand and you make mud and then after he fashioned him he breathed into him he did not say be and he was. So the verse we see in chapter 3 pro proven to us the stupidity and the ignorance of the one who made the Quran who don't remember what he said in different verse. Because neither Adam was created by saying be and neither Jesus. Because he just said to me that we, he breathed into Mary. And this is what happened when a book, uh, an, an author of a book, he made a book, but he cannot remember what he said before, so he made a stupid mistakes.
Was Adam created by B? There's nothing in the Quran created by B. And this is a clear contradiction in the front of you. Yes, Abdul. What are you trying to say? I, I did not, I'm not trying to say, I said that already. So are you saying that Allah, if you look above it said we said B and he was hold on, hold on. Let's, let's take another Muslim maybe he's smarter than you hello hello are you there Abdul if you don't speak I will hang up on you okay thank you don't tell me what I trying to say it's a clear what I am saying it's a clear contradiction Allah did not create Adam by saying B. B and he was is very simple. You say B is there. That's it. I do not need to make mud. I do not need to breathe into the mud. Yes, Abdul. Talk. Hello? Yes. Sorry. Um, yeah, how are you today? I'm fine. How I can help you? Yeah, so I wanted to ask a question. Um, we have I a wanted... topic. Are you, aren't you a Muslim? Yeah, so I wanted to ask you a specific question. What about the topic we are talking about? What do you think? Uh, the topic we're talking about uh, that I want to discuss with you is God. Hmm. We are talking about God. What kind of God? He do not remember what he said in the, in the previous verse. I'm sorry, you said that again? How your God, he says he created Adam by saying B. Is that true? Did Allah created Adam by saying B? Did... Did Adam, did God create Adam by saying B? Yes, did he create Adam by saying B? He uh, created Jesus, peace be upon him, hmm. by saying, by just willing it to be, right? And it became, and he became. But the Quran but says, the top, but the Quran I wanted says, to ask, hold on, and that's not true too, because the Quran says that Allah, he breathed into Mary. He did not say B, he was. Did Allah uh, did Allah breathe into Mary? Did Allah breathe into Mary? Did, yes, did Allah breathe into Mary? Um, what do you think? You tell me, don't tell me what do you think. This is not about what I think, it's about what the Quran is saying. You are a Muslim, not me. Did Allah breathe into Mary? Right, but I, I wanted to discuss something else. Oh, you don't like to discuss this because this is embarrassing. No, that's not the reason. So why you don't want to answer? Why Allah, he says in one verse that he created Jesus and same as Adam by saying B, and then we find out that he did not do that at all, and this was a mistake and a contradiction. So what we would do now? Well, I don't think that's a contradiction. It's a contradiction because if you say B and he was, there's no need to breathe anymore. He is there. I think the the uh, wisdom behind that analogy would be that uh, Adam was also created without a mother. I mean, without a that is not like, that's not true. That. First of all, here nobody's speaking about a mother, and, and and Adam is not the same as Jesus in this case anyway, because Adam does not have a father and mother, but Jesus have a mother. So right. and here he did not compare about fathers. He just compared how he created them, and the way he said yep. how he created them is wrong. Because Adam was not created by same B, same as Jesus, as you see, he breathed into her, into her vagina, actually, not even to her. This is a false translation. And then the creation of Adam, he fashioned mud, and then he breathed into that mud, and then Adam was. Uh, uh, what, what the wisdom is, is that God is powerful. This is not about wisdom. He's, he's telling us about how he created them, but this is a mistake. This is a contradiction because Allah did not create Adam by saying B. It, well, it's it's about the will of God, right? So it's not about the will of God. I don't care. That's not a question. If I if I am God and I say to you, this is how I created Adam, I said to him, B, and he was, and then he says to me in different place that he breathed into a mud, he fashioned a mud, and then after he fashioned, which means he brought water, he brought sand, he mixed them together, and then he made a guy look like Adam from the mud, the statues, and then I breathe into the statues, and then I have a man. He did not say we be and he was. Be and he was, that's it. A, a blink of an eye. I say be he was. That's what be mean. So where we can find the correction of this, Allah cannot be God. 
because simply he is contradicting himself in how he created Adam and how Jesus came to existence in both scenario Allah did not say be to Adam to be exist and he did not say to be to to Jesus to be exist in both scenario Allah he breathed into the mud in the case of Adam and Allah he breathed into the vagina of Mary in the case of Isa so there's no way it's a big mistake what do you want to say well, I don't. I don't think that's a mistake. I think well, that yeah, you're missing. But what I wanted to so discuss it's, with you it's very was. Very <laughs> I let me ask, ask you. Let me ask you. Aren't you the, aren't you the same Zahra who called me before and you cry because you said to me I'm lying about the uh, uh, the pact of Omar? Um. Yeah, I believe you blocked okay. me. Okay, hold on. Let me ask you. Did I lie about the pact of Omar? Um. I, I I actually don't recall. No, you don't. Don't, don't lie. Like, don't lie. That's you call. I, mean, I mean, you don't remember <laughs> the day you cry, calling me. You cry, and now you don't remember. Uh, I, I I don't recall that. No, happening. you recall, and you are being a hypocrite <laughs> I, now. I am asking you. Did let us repeat the question. You said to me that I am lying about the pact of Omar. Did I lie? I don't recall having no, a you conversation call. Stop about being the a hypocrite. Of did I I'm lie? Not I want to confirm so you're mistaken. Okay, hold on, I'm not else. mistaken. No, I'm we not did, mistaken. We did it's recorded. Talk Stop lying, hypocrite. It is recorded. It's there. You call me only that day, and you don't remember, and you cry in that day, trying to play victim. Says, why well, you're insulting Islam, the pact of Omar, and you give me a website. You forgot, and then we get you busted, and we show you that the pact of Omar is disgusting. And this is the book of Ibn Kathir in the front of you. Now, I want to ask you to the second time. Did I lie when I spoke about the pact of Omar, that it is filthy, full of disgrace and humiliation for the Christian and disrespect? Yes or no? Sir, I do not remember no, ever. I want an answer. Okay, now I'm asking the question now. Is the pact of Omar was something grateful? Is it disgusting or it is wonderful? Okay, so the pact of Umari was an agreement or a set of terms this, this, and conditions an written by the agreement. Christian he community. Surrounded them, he surrounded them, he, he, he forced them to sign an agreement. Die or sign it. Now, I'm asking you, you were proud about the pact of Omar last time. Are you proud now? Sir, who was what is the pact of Omar? You don't know the pact of Omar. Aren't you the one who gave it to me? You are the one who mentioned it to me. Suddenly, you do not know the pact of Omar. She is the one who mentioned that to me, and now she is saying to me, What is the pact of Omar? I never, I never spoke to you. About Shut up and get lost. You are a liar, and the recording is there. I don't speak to liars, I don't waste my time with liars. Shame on you. I feel sorry for your husband. I feel sorry for any man, any woman who marry a person who have no dignity, who repeat a lie and he cannot even stand for his lie. Yes, Abdul. Talk. Talk. Okay, next time you call us, say inshallah. Yes, Abdul. So this is what you do. You bully girls, huh? I'm not bullying girls. I get her busted like your prophet. Are you saying to me that she is a girl and you are a man? I spank you all day long. Aren't I'm a real one? man. Are you the one a second ago? You said to me, I have no answer. Suppose you are the man now. I'm the man. You are the man who have no answer. So you are a girl. Go and cut it and call me back when you have it cut. Don't, wait, wait, don't play wait, a man. Wait. You don't have. A, you are not a man. Let me ask you a question. What do you have? Do you have a let, question let, for me? Let me ask you a question. Let me, you are talking about being a man, right? What kind of a man he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he never did? What do you say of that? I'm a, what? what do you say of a man? His name is Muhammad. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he never did, Mr. Man. I'm thinking you're talking about the Prophet Sallallahu Yes, I'm talking about your Prophet. What kind of a man? He think he's having sex, but in fact he never did. Listen, let me. Okay, can I answer, please? Yeah, go ahead. The Prophet sallallahu was a man. Okay. What kind I of man? I want you to get that in your head. I'm he was more an angel. Kind of he was more a messiah. What kind of a man? He think that he is having sex, but in fact he did not. 
So what's 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 so what's the thing? What's uh, the big problem? The, the thing is, are you sure he's a man? The prophet is a man. Yes. Okay. Why then he cannot have sex? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? I don't okay. understand. Did your prophet say I was the most weak person in bang bang? Until I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it. I get the power of 40 men I don't know Allah. We don't tell me. I don't know which time I ask you. A question. I don't know. I don't know. I swear to God. I don't know I don't care if you don't know. I just told you not. What do you think about that? I don't know what I think about that. I don't know if it's true. Are you saying the truth? I am saying the truth. I will show the difference right away in the screen. So I'm asking you now Come on the screen. Yes. Hmm. What do you say of a man? He said, "Okay, I want you to know I something. I want you to know something, just please." Answer. What I am the same Somali guy from last hold time. Hold on. What do you say of a man? He said, "I am the Somali guy." I don't care if you are Somali or Dumali. Who cares? This is not my topic now. Don't change the topic. What kind of a man you think he's a man? He says to his followers, "I was the most weak person between mankind in bang bang in sex, and then I invoked Allah." And he sent me a dish of cheese kebab. I ate it and I get the power of 40 men. What do you say of a man like that? If it's, if it's Sahih, 100%. Okay, so what is that? I agree with Sahih. Okay, you agree with me. So, so why Muhammad, he was the worst, most weak person in sex? What was the if problem? It's true. If this hadith is true. I agree. It is. It is true. I don't care if it's you, for sure. You will say you know, when you want. You will say it's true or not. That's not a question. I'm asking you. Your prophet he said that. So why it happened? Uh, the comments. The comment section are talking about me. How are you guys? Somali guys back. Abdul. Abdul. Are you going to answer or not? You speak. How about, was the FBI? You speak about. You speak <laughs> about. Okay. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Shut up. Stupid idiot. Are you bullying a girl? What girl? Who are you bullying a girl? A prophet, he says, he was the most weak person in sex, and then he invoked his God, and then his God, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, and then he his penis got the power of 40 men. Obviously, your prophet must be a true prophet. وَكُنْتُ مِنْ أَقَلِّ النَّاسِ جِمَاعًا وَكُنْتُ hmm? You see it? It's in yellow. Let me highlight it for you, Abdul. وَكُنْتُ مِنْ أَقَلِّ النَّاسِ فِي الْجِمَاعًا Don't call me, Abdul. Don't call me. Stop calling. Let me exit. Just hold on. Potatoes. They are going crazy, the genies. وَكُنْتُ مِنْ أَقَلِّ النَّاسِ فِي الْجِمَاعِ حَتَّى أَنْزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَيَّ الْكُفَّيْتِ فَمَا أُرِيدُهُ مِنْ سَاعَةِ إِلَّا وَجَدْتَهُ وَهُوَ قَدْرٌ فِيهَا لَحْمْ I was the most weak person in bang bang six. What a shame. I am, by the way, I'm not saying a shame that because he's the lowest person. The shame is he is a prophet, but yet he's speaking about the power of his penis. What is our business? Let us say he was really the most weak person in sex. So why you need to go in the street and you tell us what was happening to your penis? Ah, here Muhammad is trying to prove to us a miracle. Allah, he had sponsored his penis. Don't you see a YouTube sponsored? Allah sponsored the penis of Muhammad. And here you will see how we can get Muhammad busted and the Quran because if the Muslim they say to us that Allah if he wants something to be he say be look Muhammad have a problem with his penis what Allah he did he went to his kitchen and he start preparing a meal and then after he prepared the meal he sent it to Muhammad and this meal obviously it's a magical meal Full of a Viagra. Muhammad, he ate it. He got the power of 40. So how Allah, he says, be, and it was. Why he don't say, be a hard penis, and the penis will be working fine. Why Allah, he need to send a dish of shish kebab.
No, this is Zahra. This is the same Zahra. She called me before. Don't tell me I get it wrong. She is the same person who can come before. You guys are really funny. When the last time a woman, she is a Muslim, she called me. In the last six months, I don't have anyone except this girl. So stop saying to me it's not her. Silly people. So what do you say, Abdul? And she did not deny she cried. She said yes. You see, I mean, you guys are not even listening. But look what they do. The second you get them busted, they try to change the topic. And you, Christian, you better learn how to deal with them. When you deal with those people, you have to be sharp, strong, and don't let them play their game. Otherwise, you will end like a monkey jumping from a branch to branch to chase them. You go in a topic, finish it. Otherwise, each time you get them busted, almost there, bingo. Let us change the topic. I have a question. I, this is not really interesting for me. Why is that interesting for you? So why you are you calling me? My friend, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. And they try to take advantage by flooding you with false information. Quran full of science. You're right. Prophet was an amazing man. He was a criminal. Disgusting a criminal. If you want to make a horror movie, you will not find better character than Muhammad. What do you see in a horror movie? You see people putting nails in the eyes of people? Huh? You see people cutting hands? Cutting feet? Muhammad does. This is what he does for a living. This is the man they praise him and they say Islam is peace. He enjoy putting nails in the eyes of people. He love it. He enjoy watching people bleeding to death. Cutting their hands and cutting their feet. What kind of a man? He enjoys such a thing. And they say to you, the prophet was a merciful man. You are sent only as a mercy for mankind. Yeah, right. This is true. Obviously, it is true. While Jesus was saying, love your enemy, Muhammad was cutting hands, putting nails on the eyes of a human being, a life. Can they say that this story is a lie? Trust me, time will come and they will say it's a lie. It's a lie. It's not true. Name for me one thing ISIS did and Muhammad did not do. Look, look at this idiot. Not only, not only he is killing them, cutting their hands and their feet alive, he put the nails in the fire and he push it inside their eyes slowly. And you are telling me Muhammad was not a merciful prophet? You must be kidding me. How merciful do you want him more than this? You guys must be crazy not to believe he's a merciful. We have to believe when the Muslims they say he's a merciful. Obviously he is. 
And he was. All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Now, again, please don't forget to download this video because it's not going to stay here for long. Maybe by the morning tomorrow, the video will disappear. So this is what you do when you cannot find the video. You can go either search for the same title, same title you saw yesterday. Like, what is the title for this one? Sometimes you can find that like, this is the same title I, I wrote before. So how you guarantee that this is the new video? Just search for the video posted filter, make the filter that posted yesterday, and they will find it. Or you can go to minds.com, minds.com, this website. And uh, usually I try to update and like I post a new link, which is posted by somebody else for my video. And this is why I say, please download and you share yourself and you will get many, many subscribers because many people watch my videos. Open your channel and I encourage Muslims to post the video there. As long you think you are making victory to Allah, post it. Let us see how much proud you are of calling Christian Prince. As I heard, always Muslims win when they call me and I always lose and this is why now I have to leave you and I am sad because I lost sadly as usual I mean what I can say we have to admit always when we debate with the followers of the God of the black stone we lose because at the end of the day we have to hit our head with the black stone Either we kiss it like the non-pagan prophet who kisses stones or we believe that a sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the nipples of the women. And then we will become a perfect believers. Praise be to Allah, the God of the breast testicles. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, I hope tomorrow or the day after, Christ is Lord and Islam is absolutely the biggest, biggest false lie made in history. I mean to that and see you soon again. Bye-bye.